All right, ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing? Welcome to the stream. It's uh, time for day two of Manor Lords. I had the itch and uh, we're going to play a uh, more aggressive session today where we're going to get attacked more often. So we're going to turn up the difficulty, uh, have more bandits and uh, try it out. Now that we know the basic mechanics, I think that'll be a little bit more fun. And uh, as far as the schedule for the week, uh, tomorrow is going to be a Dune tournament, likely, likely tomorrow, um, followed up by Sunday having a big Total War tournament. And uh, yeah, maybe some Age of Empires, some Company of Heroes mixed in there. We'll have to see. Could be fun. But how you guys doing? All right. So today we're going to be trying to trade. Uh, obviously, we saw we, we didn't really know how to use trading yesterday, but I uh, did kind of get a grip of it at the very end of the stream. So we're going to see what we can do. What's going on, man? How you guys doing? Yes. Uh, this isn't Banner Lords. This is Manor Lords. Yeah. Make sure to protect your king. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hope the raiders actually can do some work here. All right. So we're not going to go too crazy into the design, but we're going to have this guy. <laughs> Look at that name. What is this? What is this? Is this really the name that just auto-generated here? I know it's not. It's probably said like that, but oh my god, that name just auto-generated. Wow. All right. Uh, so he's going to be... We're going to call him Lord Janusz. Yes, it's going to be perfect. All the Polish folks in chat will will, will get the get the the fun there. Uh, all right, so I definitely will take a squirrel with an acorn as my icon. Primary color can be blue. I like that. I think that's fun. I'm doing great. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, will the attorney use thrones? No, no. Sunday's a qualifier for a special tournament. Yeah. That name should be kept. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess uh, I, it was pretty fun. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna be the mighty Lord Janusz today. All right, so let's just go ahead and skip ahead. Now, there's a couple scenarios. We have rise to prosperity. This is the very simple one which we did at yesterday, right? You can see you have various win conditions. One is reaching uh, a large town settlement level to win. You have conquest, which means you need to claim all the regions to win, or just uh, endless play. So growth, I think, is going to be a little bit more feasible. And what we wanted to do was a survival challenge today of sorts. So this is the most basic one. Fulfill the requirements of your citizens, plan and rule your medieval town, blah, 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 without worrying about combat. That's what we did yesterday. It was very simplistic, right? Uh, but we're going to switch it on to the on the edge. So on the edge, uh, grow your city and raise forces as quickly as you can. The lands are pestered by raiders and undefended settlements will perish quickly. So... Uh, yeah, we're going to be doing on the edge here today and trying to have it be a little bit more challenging. Hopefully it will be. We'll have to see. Yes, the gorilla stream. I know. Out of nowhere, man. Out of nowhere. So we're going to do on the edge. Um, I don't know what like that would change. I think guess default's probably fine. Um, so growth, AI opponents. Oh, so there's no AI opponents. It's just like raider armies attacking you. Okay. Off map adversary. So adds an AI opponent located off map. He controls two regions and brings the soldiers to the main game map when challenged. Okay, we could do that. AI uh, reactiveness is balanced. So AI lords more plus, uh, may press claims. So yeah, we're going to make the enemy AI lord a little bit more aggressive here. All right. Uh, raider frequency. So no more than, uh, yeah, medium is probably okay. We can get one year to set up. Initial bandit camps. No bandit camps present when the game begins, so it'll just come like... We can have that appear... I think it's probably fine. Random bandit camp spawn limit is going to be three starting seasons. I think everything looks good so far. Uh, what I'm seeing, this is a tough scenario. <laughs> I'm in for a hell of a time. Yeah, you so see you're saying it's a tough scenario on the edge? I'm glad. I mean, I want it. I don't want it to be easy, so I don't want it to be like brutal since I'm just learning still, but... Here, smugglers. The music is so good in this game. It's so good. I don't even want to turn it down. You guys enjoy the music? I think I do too. How good is Manor Lords? Oh, I mean, giving it a, a rating on 1 to 10, I have no idea. I, I like, I haven't gotten to the end game yet, uh, but, you know, hit me back after I actually finish a game. Everyone seems to be streaming this game. Yeah, it's really fun. It's really fun so far. Uh, I really want PvP in it. I hope they do that, but, um,. So we have an off-map adversary who will press us. We have raider frequency at medium. Um, no more than a single raid every two years. What about frequent? Uh, pop possibly less than a year between each raid. Okay, we could just do medium for now, I guess is fine. I want to be a dirt farmer. <laughs> All right, hopefully this isn't going to be too easy. I mean, we're on the default. Oh, okay, wait. So default, yeah. So default, raids per year, uh, raider for year is one. Okay, so we're just on the standard setting now. All right. 
<laughs> squires! Yeah, Pwn knows the squires are coming. All right, so this setting hopefully is a little bit harder. How was the first six hours of Manor Lord? I really enjoyed it a lot, actually. Yeah. Oh man, let me think about that. Ask me then at the end of the stream. Okay, so we know the basics. This is, we know the basics, sort of. Um, all right, so we got a new message here, yes. Ah, yes, prosperous. So we need to get a lumber post up. So let's go ahead and like set that up like on a big tree line here. So what we're gonna do is go right here. We're gonna do a little bit of that. And then we wanna set up a uh, logging camp right away. So that's pretty important. So we're gonna set up a logging camp. So the villagers are gonna go build that. And something I've noticed that seems to be pretty good to do is to get a second hitching post like right away. So we will set that up. Uh, where's our other hitching post? It's right here. Okay, so we can set this up down here. And then we can set up a road to connect all this to the main road. That'll make it a little bit quicker for them to get around. So they're gonna go build that. I will do a lot of fast forwarding today, by the way. You resetted your settings. Yeah, no, we got, we got the basics though. As long as the radar frequency is fine and uh, yeah, we should be all good. We are on that survival map though, right? We did do the same one, the same setting. We didn't switch over to the other one, did we? I don't think we did. Well, okay. Anyways, where the hell's our settlement? <laughs> where the hell's our settlement? Is there a way to spot it from outer space? Oh my god, where's our settlement? Did I just lose it? Yes, I know. Okay, here it is. It's kind of hard to tell. I, I would hope there'd be some way to highlight that. All right, uh, okay, yeah, this is the one with raiders that start near. So we already have a raider camp immediately, I think. Yeah, immediately. All right, so this is going to be our logging encampment. This can be a big residential plot, so we're going to go ahead and uh, start on... We need to get our stuff stored, like, pretty quickly here. All right, I got it. So we will do storage. Uh, so this is a granary for food, and then this is going to be a storehouse. All right. So that should be... Whoa, what do we have here? Okay, game should not be paused. All right, let's get a storehouse, and let's get a granary. So those are going to be the important buildings. The lumber is obviously going to get us uh, able to start building on some buildings here. We have a second hitching post, which is not done, but it's under construction. Villagers should be uh, getting going on this camp here. Will you go for eggs and bees? I'm going to be doing a lot of trade. Uh, let's look at our resources. So we have a berry deposit. We don't have any wild animals. Okay, we have some far away, but that's going to change our strategy. We might need to do more localized food. <laughs> going to need some squires real quick on this one. Yeah, I think so. All right, so we got these storage buildings. We have a second hitching post, which we're going to spend our regional wealth on. And now we need to get houses. But firstly, we could just let the villagers build this. So we're going to go times four speed. And then we solve the, the homelessness, essentially. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna solve that nice and good. All right, so let's get our plots up. I don't want to build too many buildings at once, or else they just don't finish any, basically. So we need to, we need to get them on that. Logging camp will be done in a moment. Villagers, uh, obviously inhibited by... We need more ox to build buildings quicker. Yeah, and we, we have the storage houses coming up because we have exposed goods. So if it like rains or storms or something, it's gonna it's gonna own us. So we need to get that um, set up here. All right, so the logging camp is fine. We can go ahead and start uh, getting one family on there. We can actually go two families for now because you know we'll still have three families to build and it's gonna be pretty quick. All right, so that's gonna be the granary. Perfect. Yeah, getting the granary is like I think yeah. Well, let's put that on high priority because storing your food, your initial starting food, is really really important, right? Yeah, trading seems strong. We're going to experiment with it this time and see see how good it is. All right, so the granary is almost done. Good work, my minions. Hitching post is almost done also. The cow is just dropping off wood at all the different spots. we got two families on lumber, and they'll start bringing them back soon. And then we need to get our residential uh, plot set up here. So, all right. So for now, we can do some big, chunky, like, carrot plots. Yeah, I think... Oh, uh, do we not have enough wood? Okay, we don't have enough wood right now. So, yeah, we need to just gather the lumber here. Because we spend a lot. I mean, they're going to be hobos for a minute. But I'm pretty sure we can get this approval up over, like, 80%. Is there any spice in this game? I don't think so. All right. So, let's put one family on the storehouse and one family on the granary. No, just one. And just leave one family to build. So, they're going to start gathering by putting them on the house here. They're going to start going out and gathering the uh, supplies I have laying on the ground in the homeless camp uh, and over here. So all these supplies, you do not want to lose those to elements. If you don't build these quick enough, uh, from what I understand, you can be losing these. Uh, I have no idea, Jose. Maybe if you put it on the lower setting, it'd be, it wouldn't be too bad. All right. So how are we doing on timber? We got four timber now, so we need to gather a little bit more. So we'll put it on fast forward while they do that. And uh, I'm going to order a second ox that's going to make it so I can build and just kind of haul lumber around my village much quicker. 
So we placed an order for livestock, uh, so they're going to be popping off here soon. Yes, yes. I'm pretty sure there are worms. Yeah, there might be some worms. You never know. So yeah, we do have a request for a marketplace stall, but soon uh, I think we need to just focus on houses first. So let's get our plots. We can do like a big carrot plot right here, and we can remove the number of spots. So that's going to be like, we're going to get a couple huge, huge plots like this. And then we're going to make them, you can change the number of houses on a plot. And um, that's going to be essentially four. So those are going to be big plots where we can grow carrots. Because the bigger a plot, usually for like industry houses, for like cobblers and blacksmiths and things like that, you don't really need to um, have big plots like this. But if you're going to be growing crop there, you definitely, uh, you definitely want to. I think this is a good spot for the market as well. So that should start on the homeless thing. So we got a villager going there, yes. And the supplies are being dragged back. Are all the supplies put away? I think they are now. So we can go ahead and uh, we have a little bread. We have three months worth of food. So we're gonna need to start uh, harvesting some berry bushes. Yeah, we're gonna need to. Otherwise our, our folks are gonna get quite hungry. So let's go up here. Uh, yes. And we can set up a uh, forager. So we're gonna go ahead and go forage for berries, which is gonna be the forager's hut. And uh, yeah, there we go. The road is not fully connected. So let's get this and go up here. Great. So that should connect just fine. So now that the granary is stored, we can take you out of the granary and the storehouse has most of our supplies. So we can take those guys out and have them help build. Uh, the more different food, yes, I, I'm aware of that. So yeah, the way it works is the more food variety you have, the happier people are. So for now, we're gonna open with um, berries, carrots, and uh, eggs, and we'll probably probably try farming this time around. Uh, let's see what our farm situation looks like. So we're gonna go to farming, and emmer is wheat. Oh, our fertility is not very good. We could do a wheat farm down here. Uh, so this is wheat, flax, barley, rye. We don't really have really good fertility, and you can see here's the water. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and set up a well too. So residential, you always want access to water. It's a requisite for uh, leveling things up and you just put it right there, great. You can see the underground water is appearing today as well. Yeah, my lord definitely praises the twin comet, he does. He's, he's a Sigmarite for sure. Uh, all right, so yeah, once these houses are done, that should solve the homeless problem. We can put it on like turbo speed for a second and let them uh, power build that up. So that will be done and I've been, I'll be fast forwarding more today. I wanna get later for you guys in the action and show you more. So we're gonna, we're gonna try and speed things along. So that plot is done. What I'm gonna do is, um, yeah, got it. I'm gonna expand the living space so it can be a, a, a have two families living in it essentially. And then uh, these hitching posts are fine. So let's go here, uh, here, 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 and here. Great. And then we're gonna do another residential plot like down here. The market's gonna be in the middle. So the market is gonna be right here. So we wanna set up the marketplace that can be here, uh, here, and that can be, I think that's enough space for a market more or less. Yeah, so we're gonna have the market be like right in the center of the village. So once we get people assigned to the granaries and you know various merchants and stuff, that will do it. Um, food is running a little bit tight, so we're gonna need to we need to get that going once the houses are built. Solving the homeless crisis is, is gonna be uh, the priority, of course. All right, so storehouse, yeah, we have some bread left, but it can run out. Carrot for the carrot gods, yeah, the carrots are gonna be big. So you can upgrade these plots to grow carrots using your uh, regional wealth. Regional wealth, you can get a lot from trading. Um, I'm probably gonna be a wood merchant this game. I think I'm gonna make a bunch of like wooden parts and um, try that. All right, so let's do, or we could just become the overlord of carrots and eggs. I'm gonna be the, the dark wizard of eggs. All right, so let's do this. Just developing the plot. And then uh, how are we doing on wood? We have only three timber right now, but we do have two on here. We're gonna need to start gathering firewood. So this gathers building materials and this one's gonna gather, um, this one is gonna gather, uh, let's see, can we do that here? Okay, let's get a little bit closer. Great, so that's gonna be a woodcutter's lodge. That one is gonna go and get um, firewood. Cause when you get, the, we're still a long ways away from winter, but we need to start considering uh, fuel gathering. We have enough for 16 months out of the gates, but you know, it's not gonna last forever here. All right. So that house is going to finish. This is another nice plot here. So let's do some fast forwarding while this builds up. And we're going to go ahead and expand the living space. 
Great, so we've almost solved the homeless thing. Once they, these two are built, uh, we're only gonna need one more house after that. So then we can build another uh, big house down here. Although we need to get somebody busy on the uh, on the berries. Yeah, okay, so the forager hut is almost down too. Yes, yes, this game looks so good. It's really fun, it's really fun. I'm having a blast with it. I can't wait till it's multiplayer and then Pone and I can have epic duels. Uh, all right, so per yeah, we need lumber for that. It's fine. They're bringing it back. We just need to get the timber delivered. The granary is uh, Yeah, that's firewood in there I guess we could have one of you guys on the storehouse so they can go gather and kind of distribute supplies in the marketplace so You can see he's setting up a stall here a firewood stall. Yeah, so he's gonna he's gonna be distributing firewood to the houses So yeah, they're almost upgraded. They're both being uh, okay. So we got this plot now. This is a dual living space and this actually will be enough. Yeah, that's gonna solve our uh, residential problem, but you need to have additional, uh, we require additional pylons. You need to have more, yeah. Our timber is not great at the moment. We just need a little bit more. Granary can go distribute bread. We'll put Pone in the tannery. <laughs> yeah, this has an RTS element. So you'll see when the fighting eventually happens that it gets pretty RTS-y. It's, it's like Total War, actually. It's it's a really cool. I know it's just a small team working on this, so I'm pretty excited to see the future of it. But, um, yeah, the, when this upgrades, that's going to finish it. So you see how the ox have to drag the timber to the buildings? And that's partially why I'm not really banking a lot right now. But once we finish the building here, it's going to be good. All right, so, yeah, we just need to deal one more house. So let's get one more fat plot back here. Uh, we only have one timber right now, so let's get a third on the logging camp. And you can check and see what they're doing. See that, yeah, they're, they're, they are doing their part. They are doing their part. The well is finished. Uh, the berries up here are not quite done. Food is, we got three months left. Only three months. Is this Baron Thegan? This is Lord Janusz. Yes, he is, he is our, our dude. Uh, do we really need you here? No, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. So yeah, we, we can, the stall, the stall will come back later. I don't think that's a good usage of our time initially. All right, so we have enough for another plot here. So we're gonna get another, um, out here is probably, we'll get another carrot plot. Okay, so we're gonna need four for another big plot. Yeah, we're gonna need four. Okay, interesting. And then if we go here, here and here, yeah, it's gonna set them up sideways like that. Okay. I don't think it really matters, honestly, but we'll see. So lumber, we're up to three. We need four to really get the job done. How much are we sitting on here? We only have the three. Our lumberjacks are out in the woods doing their doing their part. Let's see when they bring this in. Uh, food's gonna get precarious here soon. Yeah, the forager is still not done yet, so hopefully they'll get that done shortly. We do have two villagers on building. Uh, as far as these plots go, we're gonna start growing some carrots here. So we're gonna be uh, do carrots, and um, I think. Yields depend on the plot of the size. That is not the case for these guys. So we're gonna do two big carrot plots here and we're just gonna become the carrot overlord. So we got two carrots going down, uh, which is gonna be nice. That'll help remedy our food issue considering we don't have a lot going on. All right, so the forager hut is finished. So we're gonna assign one family to harvest the uh, berries out here. We can also eventually upgrade it to get an herb garden. And then the herb garden is going to uh, the herb garden is going to help us with disease and things like that. All right. So how much wood do we have now? We got five timber. Great. So we can set up another house now, another big one. Although we can actually maybe do um, okay house position, place point area. How uh, if how do you flip it? The houses. I actually did an experiment with that yesterday. I'm thinking of doing like a big residential brick. Although that would just be two two big ones. But I, I think we already have the carrots going. I think we can do like a smaller one now. If you're naming your lord, it's a crime against Poland to keep that village name as is. Uh, all right, how, how do we change the village name? Uh, we can do uh, <laughs> Kilbasa. Yes, there you go. Our village name is going to be Kilbasa. Of course, that's where Lord Yanish would live. Yes, yes, rename it. I accept. Okay, it's now Kilbasa. It's probably spelled wrong, but it's close enough. <laughs> all right. So, another house. Yeah, you like that? I thought that name was good. Uh, all right, you can turn the direction once you select the four corners before confirming bottom left, thank you. Really appreciate it, boss. And uh, yeah, that's more along the line, so it's gonna be 10. That's gonna be a big residential project, but okay, we're gonna do that. 
So we're gonna fast forward till we get 10 and that will solve the homeless problem, which is gonna boost our approval. So we're at seven at the moment. Everything's looking good. Um, we are being rained on, but the supplies are all in. You see, if we hadn't built the storehouse and the granary, um, you know, it would be it would be a dicey situation. And we got the forager hut, so berries are going to be brought back eventually, which is good. Imagine this with Warhammer Beast Men raids. Yeah, this would be really rad for sure. Cool. All right. So fast forwarding while we gather more. We got eight timber, or soon gonna have enough. We have three families on our logging camp, so it's it's gonna eventually we'll tune it down to one. All right, so now we got the ten timber, so we can do the big residential product uh, project we we're thinking about. Here, here, and here, and let's rotate it. There we go. So these are gonna be like various cobblers and um, folks who are gonna make weaponry and whatnot. So let's do this. We can cut you off and get two families to go help build now, and that is a hundred percent gonna solve the homeless problem for the immediate future. And uh, we can also get the, uh, yeah, we don't have enough goods really at this point to set up a stall. It's probably not a huge deal. But this is going to be uh, specialists. So like we have our carrots, right? The carrot overlords will be growing. We just need to get clothing. So um, we need to get linen or yarn or leather. Uh, we can get leather by having a couple goat farms. Yeah. Okay, so we're above 50% now. So we should have... Once we finish these plots, we're going to start having some growth. Can you get cavalry or not in the game yet, as far as I've been told? But I'm not sure. Okay. Bachelor of Science in Urban Planning, yes. So they're building up the cottages nicely. And now we have low population growth, but there is growth. Uh, the market food variety. Yeah, you see, we have berries and we do also have bread. So we're getting some food variety. And soon, eventually, we're going to grow some carrots uh, from these two big plots here, which is awesome. You get leather from the homeless. Nice. Nice, dude. Nice. All right. So we probably need to assign somebody to a woodcutter's lodge to get firewood for winter. So one to one here is probably fine for now. Um, yeah, we just got this nice big housing project done. New message. A strong militia. Yeah, we're going to need to get some militia. So I believe we got the free spears and shields. So we will get a spear militia. And I'm going to go for early bows as well. Yeah, we're going to do some bows. No caveat. It's all advanced, but you can make a family that is gathering berries sell at the stall. Otherwise, you're wasting a family. Yes. We the berries. The berries will come. Currently, uh, yes. We need to do this. The storehouse is storing our goodies. We don't have anybody distributing yet. When I get a couple more families here, yeah, we got you, you, uh, the berry bush overlords. Okay. And uh, granary. And then we need to go ahead and maybe put one person here. So they'll start, yeah, the food stall is going to be manned now. So you can see the food stall is now active. And so um, the firewood stall, let's see. Yeah, the food stall is active. The firewood stall will um, come online when when it's needed. Yeah, we can we can eventually put, uh, put someone there. Yeah, we got these two actually going. Granary is not active right now. Okay, no problem. Yeah. You can get leather from hunting. So that's what I did yesterday. The wild game is really far away though. Um, I do have a iron deposit. I have a clay, a rich clay deposit and a rich stone deposit. Ooh, okay. So I also have gotten kielbasa. Considering I have a rich stone deposit, I could do deep mining. Deep mining would uh, build and extract resource indefinitely. Yeah, that's really nice. We could do a deep mining deposit. Hmm, but I wanted to go trade. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for uh, we're gonna go for trade logistics to make the trade routes really cheap. I think that's gonna be good. Uh, the food card is also a cool idea. We'll do, we can potentially do both, but we're gonna do trade logistics here. Yeah. Am I Polish? No, but my wife is. I'm married to a, a Polish woman. Yes. All right. So the houses are being built up slowly but surely. We can do some fast forwarding here. Logging camp is going strong. We got some timber. We got the goods, the carrots. Uh, I don't know if they've gone to market yet. Doesn't look like they've finished quite yet. We'll be attracting a new family here shortly. So we'll do some big fast forwarding times 12 speed. And uh, yeah, we'll get there. I think, uh, I think, yeah. Do I want to hunt some wild game to get some meat? It is really far away, but we could do a path through the forest and have, it's, it's uh, going to be a journey to get that back. Hmm. So if we were to set up a road, we could get a road coming up here. Okay. And then we can go ahead and set up a hunting camp. I think for now we're fine, but we're gonna we're gonna add that eventually. 
because you can't make kielbasa without meat so we're gonna we're gonna need to get that on the on the plate so we got the carrot farmers looking good the carrots appear to be growing they just kind of passively built within those houses and uh, we need to get some clothing yeah so I how am I gonna do this I think I need to get it so linen let's see what else I can do here okay so these are the gathering let's go to industry this is farming, so communal oven. Yeah, that's for, for flour to bread. I haven't really experimented with the animal economy yet. That's something I haven't done. Uh, we could now try and establish some basic trade, but I don't really have that much of a surplus of resources, so I don't really think it's worth it. Yeah, let's go for the uh, let's go for the old uh, animal hunting here. I think that's just the most simplistic way to do it. Uh, it feels like he's playing way faster than he needs to. Ah. No, you know, you can once you learn the game, you can totally play it quick. I think it's I don't think there's any downside to that. I, I learned a lot of the basics yesterday. Um, do we have a road there? I, I could have sworn I have a road going in. It's kind of hard to see it, to be fair. Well, anyways, let's get a hunting camp up here. Yeah, we got the road. Can I build it on the roads? No. Okay, it's gonna be a little expensive here, so let's set that up there. And I'm pretty sure there's a road going right up to that. Yeah, you can see there kind of is. All right, so let's get the road. So that's a save coming in. All right, and then we connect it here. So that'll get built one of these years. It's going to take some time, but, you know. We have a surplus of houses, too. Uh, these ones are still being built out. How are we doing on timber? We got four timber right now, and um, you know what? I think we're okay on fuel, so let's chill out on fuel. And take that family off woodcutters and send them over here. I could sell firewood, but I don't want to. Uh, you need firewood when winter comes around because... It consumes double the amount of fuel, so um, you need to have a surplus for your first winter. Otherwise, you're just going to get wrecked. All right. So, yeah, we got the food stall and the firewood stall. Construction finished, so all our plots are done now. So the villagers um, are going to go and build that hunting camp, which is going to take a hot minute. All right, we got another family moving in, so we're already way more efficient than we were last time, <laughs> which is good. We're learning the ways. Uh, we got our houses here eventually to be set up and to upgrade these to level two houses which will start generating us some wealth um we need to get um yeah we need to get some sort of clothing so we need to get either leather yarn or linen and we're gonna go for leathers obviously so the hunting camp is done so we need to get somebody on the hunting camp to bring back hides so where was the hunting camp is here somewhere oh god it's there's got to be yeah what was the there we are okay so let's get two families on hunting that's going to give us food diversity, too. The market food variety right now is okay. We have berries and leftover bread. Eventually, the carrots will finish, and they're going to be sent there, too. The egg economy? Yeah, the egg economy is on the table. So we're going to do um, a heavy amount of lumber lumberjacking here. As long as we're growing, that's good, obviously. This is where we're going to set up a church right here. Um, so it'll be near like our major houses. And for the church, uh, just kind of planning ahead a little bit. I mean, you can see how we can fast forward to progress the game quicker, which I definitely like doing. All right, so farmhouse, pastures. Yeah, provides a pasture. I haven't really sheep farm. Workers collect wool from grazing sheep. I think I have to order livestock. I think I do. We'll get trade online soon. It's not really time for trade yet. We don't have much to sell at this moment. Our two hunters are going to be hunting. Let's go see. Are they up here? And let's see what they're doing. Transporting, crafting, getting resources. Okay, so they are, yeah, these guys are hunting and gathering the hides and stuff. That's excellent. Unfortunately, it's a huge ass journey to get back to the base from there, but the tavern will come online eventually. All right, we're going to go four times speed. And um, yeah, it's a trading post. Trading post we could just do like right here at the crossroads. We're going to set that up there so we can start exploring options while we wait. And uh, yeah, once we get the uh, tannery, the tannery is very stinky, so you want it. Apparently, the stench of the tannery, uh, you know, penalizes your village, your town, so we want that away. So we are going to go ahead and set up a tannery out here, um, out away from the town. Great. We got those two, and um, yeah, all's going according to plan. Now we have hides here, so we can get somebody in the tannery soon to go deal with that. Um, how are we doing on timber? Yeah, we're all right. We can jump off timber here, and uh, he can go help build a little bit. I think we have a decent surplus of fuel. We have food for 13 months, but you can see how the fuel is is uh, is, is pretty wild. We do have roads going up there, Albanian. We do. Let the people be pagans. I, I would if you could. Berries and bread, the most balanced medieval diet. But we're getting meat now, too. 
We're gonna get meat back from the hunters. You can see we have some hides, but um, yeah, they're bringing back the the hides, and the, the meat will be brought back eventually too. So trading post is gonna finish. We're still as long as you're growing, you're you're doing okay. You know, as long as you're making a little bit of growth progress. All right, so the trading post is almost done and um, looks good. So what do we get? The stall has got firewood. Yeah, firewood's being taken. And look, we got meat now. So food diversity is up. It's up to six now that we have hunted meat. Even though it's not super close to our base, it's still obviously very, very necessary, right? So when the raiders come, we're, we're going to need to get a corpse pit because uh, we're going to need to hide their bodies. Otherwise, they rot in your village and they can cause disease and things like that. Um, when your own people die, they get buried in the church. But raiders, you need to build a corpse pit. Yeah, you need to. All right, so here's a tavern. And yeah, that's the plot. The church, we need to get uh, planks, which we'll eventually get. The church is uh, really good. It improves your, your people's happiness by quite a bit. By quite a bit. So the oxes. We could even get a third ox, although our wealth is not great. The wealth will skyrocket once we start trading. The tavern church Catholic strat. Yeah, the Catholic strategy, yes. So they're taking the timber from there and taking it to the various construction sites. Uh, he's transporting hides. Where are you? Oh, he's just going back. Okay. So we got six hides now. And when the tannery is finished, um, we're going to be able to slap a worker down on there. Definitely going to have to get back on timber, though, if we want to keep uh, constructing. Yeah, you see he brought lumber over there, so it's slowly building. The trading post is done. Um, so here's our overall game plan, guys. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the... Uh, not this, to materials. And we're going to trade wooden parts. I find that they're very easy to make because they just take wood and they fetch a pretty penny. Um, what else is lucrative? Yeah, wooden parts have an export rate of 5, which is very lucrative. We could also export military equipment. We could export large shields for six, but um, maybe we do large. I mean, you could switch between the two. It's the same building. Warbows also require wood, so we're going to need to have a lot of wood going on. And we can import whatever else we need. We're probably going to import like barley, or we could try and grow some. We'll see if we have any areas where it's good. All right, new family moved in. Outstanding. That's what I like to hear. They can immediately get on number. <laughs> we, we, we put them to work here very quickly. We got the berries being foraged. Um, berries, the thing about berries is they get turned off in the uh, in the certain season. So yeah, as far as this goes, we need to get the, uh, yeah, we need to get the clothing stall, which will happen soon. Is the tannery almost done? We can assign someone to the tannery. And uh, I don't know how long it takes for the carrots. Yeah, a new family. Wow, we're, 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 get, we're growing pretty quickly here today. Yeah, so fuel is dicey, so we need to get somebody on the Woodcutter's Lodge, or else we're going to run out of fuel. And we're in June, so we're in summer, so it, it, here's the thing. If you cut it close, you can, in an emergency, switch a lot to the Woodcutter's Lodge, and you're going to be okay. Have you checked out? Uh, I haven't. Do mine exports once that operation up? Uh, so I, I choose when they export. Yeah, I choose when they export. Uh, where do we have barley? Do we have any barley? Wow, no, we don't. So we're going to have to... Like, we have, like, no barley growth. You see? So you can check the fertility of different things. Ay, ay, ay. We have no flax. We have wheat. We could do some good wheat operations down here. Um, rye. Yeah. All right. Well. So our people are going to be a little bit delayed on the beer. We're going to have to wait so we can import that. So the firewood cutters are going to get out there and get us some firewood. Looks fine. Uh, as far as houses go... Low population. Okay, so we still have... I think we still have some room in the houses. Yeah, so that's a family. We got a family in here. Uh, we got a family in here. So that one's open, and that one's open. So we have we have a little time before we need to build more houses. Granted, we could always just, you know, start on one right here. Yeah. All in due time. All right, so tannery. Tannery's going to finish in, hopefully, and then we can get going on the clothing requirement. Um, the fuel will pick up here in a minute. Very soon. Yeah, spears are also an idea, but spears I need um, iron, which I believe I have nearby. Uh, yeah, I do actually I have an iron deposit down here. Hmm. You know what? Maybe we 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 become yeah. I have I have a well. I do. I got a well right here. I should probably get a well down here too, just to play it safe. Um, yeah. You need to do it. Build it on where there's water. So there's another one here. So we'll do two wells there. All right, so we do have an iron deposit. So if we want to make spears, we need to go for a mining camp, a mining pit, right? And then we need to go and get, um, we need to go to a bloomery. 
which is going to turn into iron slabs. So we could we could do like blacksmithy. That could be kind of fun. Delay on beer. The peasants revolt. They're going, dude. These peasants might revolt today. This is a much harder challenge. We're going to get attacked way sooner. Yes, we'll do spears actually. Because yesterday we did the wooden parts. Maybe we do spears. Let's see what kind of exchange rate we get for spears. Um. Oh, that's seven. Okay, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. All right. So that should be finishing soon. Let's get a road coming down here. Yes. We're going to get a road. And then we can go ahead and set up a mining pit for um, this. Okay, so we got a mining pit. That will happen eventually. And um, food variety. Let's see how we're looking here at the marketplace. Yeah, we got we got decent food variety. It's not terrible. Not terrible at all. So the tannery will be finished. We'll assign a family to that. Uh, you don't have a lot of iron, so it might not be worth it. Ah, we do have we do have an iron mining pit down here. I'm not sure. I do like the idea of trying that because it's different. You need a smithy and a bloomery. No. Clay pit. Uh, roof tile is easier with unlimited pit. Let's see here. And I do have the rich deposit, right? So I could do the unlimited pit. Yeah, you guys like know the forbidden text. It sounds like. Um, so we what we would do. Enables to extract resources indefinitely. Okay. Hmm. That actually is a really interesting point. I really like that. That's that's brilliant. Let's go ahead and try it. Screw it. You know. I, I, I can keep my pride at bay. Uh, all right. So let's go here. What do clay tiles actually sell for, though? So you're saying the resource nodes can run out. Interesting. I did not know that. Okay, so uh, trade. We're going to go to materials. Uh, roof tiles would be in commodities, right? No, it wouldn't. You'd be in here. So clay sells for very low. Leather and charcoal fetches a pretty penny. It looks like the uh, tannery is not done yet. Okay. And let's uh, go back and see what that trades for. Okay, construction. Roof tiles sell for eight. Oh, shit. Man, that's really good. Okay, I actually like the idea of the roof tiles. So we just need to get a, a building to transform that. So to make that, we would go to industry. And uh, clay, yeah, we would get a clay furnace. Okay, that's actually pretty easy, I think. To get that tannery online, that's going to fulfill our requirement. So we can start upgrading some stuff. And yeah, this is a rich deposit. Okay, so for this build to work, we, we have the trade logistics, which is good. It makes it so we can establish fast trade routes for cheap. And then we go down towards deep mining and try and get that, like after two techs. Okay, I actually like that. When do you get a wizard on a dragon? Sadly, uh, we don't. <laughs> That's the neat part. You don't. All right, so we got that. Let's take your advice, brother. I, I appreciate it. And we're going to go ahead and do a, uh, a mining pit. No deposit in range. Is that connected? Kind of a weird one. It's like it's struggling to snap to it. Is that in range? All right, that looks like it's in range. Great. So we got a mining pit. It's gonna get the clay. Unassigned families needed for construction for the mining pit. We're okay. We're not in a rush. We'll have a new family joining us soon. And um, can we upgrade these? The shoe, the leather will be going to the stall soon. Uh, he is currently, yeah, you can see he's making leather now. So that is gonna be uh, giving our people like leather clothes. Can we get wenches? Oh yeah. Well, that's when the tavern comes, I suppose. All right, so yeah, the clothing stall will appear soon. Yeah, there's the clothing stall. It's gonna start distributing to the houses slowly. We have another family in. So we got another family here, great. Uh, we got 18 timber. So let's go ahead and start on a, another residential project. So we're gonna do this here. And we are going to set up our uh, residential here and do another row of houses here. Yeah, and then let's go ahead and flip them here. You could do bigger plots if we want to, like a big carrot farm, or, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. How are we doing on the carrot situation? Let's see. Oops. Okay. So firewood is looking good. We got fuel being gathered. Clothing is fine. Food is fine. Are those carrots eventually going to be active? They must be, right? They must be. 
The pit has 700 supplies, so you don't need to rush unlimited upgrade until, yeah, because it's a rich deposit, which is, oh, you can see the total amount. Okay, thank you. See, this is why we're here. We're learning. You guys are the pros. All right, thank you, thank you. I think we're playing a little cleaner today, though. We could do like a big, a big housing housing situation. That wouldn't be bad. That would basically solve our issues for a long time. So we're just gonna do this, and have a huge residential situation here. And we can set up a well like right across the way, um, which is good. All right. So they're gonna get building on that. It's gonna take a long time, but now we don't need to worry. We're at 61% approval. Um, and we can start upgrading houses soon, I think. Oh, uh, no, we need the church, that's right. So for the church, we need to get, where's the old church? We need to get planks. Okay, so for the planks, we go here and we build what is called a saw pit. Yes, we're gonna also need to upgrade our lumber situation a little bit. So we'll set up a one here and having two saw pits eventually is not a bad idea. Um, so you can really churn out the uh, planks. Yeah, we're back for, we're playing on a, a harder game mode now. Uh, allegedly it's harder. Okay, we got 20 planks there that will be distributed. We got our big housing projects going here. Granary is good. Uh, we have plenty of food for now. So what we can do is take you, uh, let's keep, let's actually keep you on berries. And the, hun the hunting camp can calm down. So we're gonna come back here and they're gonna come help build things in the meantime. Because you can hunt in the winter, but the berries you can't gather in the winter, so we're going to kind of keep grab grabbing those. Alright, people suffering from disease may stop working. Yeah, so we need to get the upgrade for, for this eventually, the uh, herb garden. What are the people doing here? Transporting, warehouse worker, decapitating a tree. Alright, so the saw pit is done. Let's get one person in the saw pit. That's going to start making planks, which we can uh, utilize for the church. Turn is practicing owning some land in Poland. Yeah. I will, I will start a, a kielbasa town in Poland, yes. My wife and I will move there. Uh, the, there. There's a street connecting the houses. You're saying the house is profit from right now. The entrance is on the other side. Oh, is it? Is it? Did I screw that up? Okay. Ah, oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. It's fine. We can make like a little neighborhood there. All right. And here we can do the same thing. Understood. Understood. Okay. There we go. All right, much better. Thank you for the pro tips. So the clay pit, we can put somebody in the clay pit. So they're going to start gathering some clay for us. Uh, the saw pit is active. Planks are going to start churning out here shortly. It's still going to take a minute, but, you know, all in due time, we have a decent spread of resources. So once we get the church set up, we can upgrade all our houses and start getting, like, cobblers and different things like that. So, um, but yeah, we're building. We're at 62% approval, which is, like, where we ended the stream yesterday after four hours. So, so that's good. Uh, we have a second saw pit. If we want to, like, double up, we could go four on planks, but I think we're okay here. I'm going to leave two to build. Tannery is still functional. Um, yeah, although we're not really bringing back hides right now, or are we? No, we have leather here. We don't have hides, so right now we don't even have any hides. So we're going to take him out of the tannery and um, wait till we have our hide uh, income. We can make some goat farms, too. Goat farms, it doesn't matter what the space is like. Um, you can see it says in the tooltip, the plot will determine the um, the goodies there. I have ugly streets. Yeah, you want you you get all the ugly stuff here, 100%. All right, so we could probably augment. I could build a forester to replant trees here, or I could just be like Saruman in industry and just like butcher everything, which I think is more the direction I want to go. Because currently they're having to lumberjack pretty far. A bandit camp was sighted. Okay, so we got our first bandit camp. Yeah, it's out there. We're, we're going to start getting attacked. This game mode is apparently harder. According to the tooltips and all that. Um, so we got 10 planks. So we can probably start on the church now. So let's go residential. And let's get the Jesus juice going. Oh, man. I didn't I didn't have a, a, the best spot for it here. What are we missing? Uh, 20 planks. Okay, so we need 20 planks for that. Okay, no problem. No problemo. Let's get two on planks here, and um, we get two on lumber. All right. Let's fire it off, man. Houses are uh, all built out, so the people are going to be all set. We can demolish this well and build the church right there, I think. It's going to be fine. Great. Streets are... Uh, streets are... Yeah, they're meant to be walked on, not looked at. Exactly. So that's that's the, the kind of attitude I like to see here. Um, yeah, timber's coming up. Planks are going to come up. We're growing, you know. We're growing. New family moved in. Hell yeah, let's go. 
we can get them on the hunting camp. We can get that active again so I can start getting the hides back. Uh, hunting camp was here. We can use the tab button to see. It's a pretty crappy job to have to... Oh, okay. I accidentally just slapped, slapped two families down on that. Just one is fine. Thank you, thank you. The Aachen Chapel Farms, yeah. Surround them, get that huge bonus. Soffit here is cooking, it's, uh, it's doing good. The Carrot Overlords are generating. You can see they have shields and spears. So our militia could fend off like an early raid. It wouldn't be the most impressive defense. So 15 planks, okay. Let's fast forward. We're in September. Uh, fuel is a little actually dodgy right now. So let's switch you here and go here. We need to get more firewood for the winter. Otherwise, we're going to be cutting it a little bit close. All right. So firewood stall. We have the firewood stall here. You can see our marketplace is distributing to all the houses. Yep, looks fine. The little uh, neighborhood's looking uh, mighty cozy. So church and tavern can go, like, right over here, I think. We need to optimize our... Um, okay, we got 20 planks now. So let's get the Jesus juice flowing in the lands. Great. All right. These people are going to be praising the Lord here. And uh, that's going to get built now. Yep, so they're already starting on it. That will massively raise our approval. That's going to be very nice. All right, how many animals do we have? We have 13 animals, so they can hunt. Yeah, you you can set a threshold. Um, so you go to the hunting camp, and you go to advanced. And you can also, I think there's a way to set it so they... Hunting limit. So you can make it so they hunt the animals down to a certain point. Um, yeah, which is which is fine. So once we get to the 10, because you don't want to hunt them to extinction or else they're gone. You need to let them repopulate. I do have a granary active, I think. Let me see. Oh, no, I thought I did. Okay, I guess not. So we're our fuel is up to six months. Let's get somebody on the granary. Great. And we have somebody on the storehouse here, which is filling up rather quickly. We have a lot of clay. I forgot about that. But we need to get the industry building for the clay tiles, right? So let's go to the industry. And this is going to be a clay furnace, which is requiring... What is that? That is not enough goods. Oh, do we not have enough stone? Could have sworn we had some stone. Oh, I guess we just don't have stone. Wow. Okay, we're going to need to get some stone somehow. We could import it too. Um, let's go ahead and import some stone. So let's import... Uh, so we're going to import stone. Desired surplus. It, uh, we don't have any money, actually. Yeah, we can't even import anything right now. That's fine. So what we can do for now is, since we have a surplus of clay, we're just going to export some of the clay. The bandits just stole, stole some of our clay tiles, sons, sons of guns. So we're going to need to go hunt them eventually. Uh, yeah, clay doesn't export very effectively, so that's fine. Stone is not much further over, so let's get you to go uh, here and here. Yes, and then we can go ahead and do mining. Do we not have enough wood? Is that what it is? Stone cutter camp. Is it because the roads are in the way? That was weird. It like looked like it didn't work, but... Oh, it's because it's going to destroy that stone is what it's telling me. Got it. Okay. I think I just accidentally destroyed some. That's fine. So let's take you off the clay pit and let's go grab some stone. Make that a high priority. So he's going to go work on that. Then we can assign him. Church is almost done too. And churches take a little bit of time to build. But once that's built up, we're going to be we're going to be straight rolling, dude. Secret nuclear tech. Yeah, we need to get the we need to get the chome going too. We're going to be pretty rich once we start selling stuff. Once we start selling the tiles, uh, we're going to be in great shape. 70% 70 70 approval, guys. Uh, if you get over 75%, yeah, look at that. If you get over 75%, it puts you at um, high population growth. So you start to like get a lot more families, and you grow much quicker. Um, winter is coming. How are we looking on winter? Five months of fuel. Uh, we have a lot of planks. So we can probably do this and switch you out and put you in the... Yeah, we have a woodcutter. Uh, the saw pits are active. We have hitching posts. I could get a third hitching post, but I think two is adequate for now. And once we get the Jesus juice, we can start upgrading our houses. Do you think you're going to stream this game after full release? Uh, it depends. It depends. I really enjoy it for now, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm more of a multiplayer guy, as you know, but I really am having fun with this. So winter is approaching. Uh, I don't think the bandits are marshalling an attack yet. Is this being built out here? 
Ah, it's done. All right, great. So we can put someone there to start gathering stone. And uh, stone's going to be necessary for a couple different things, right? All right, so church is going to be great. Yeah, you can see uh, that is going to start making people happy. We have three folks now, so now we can make these people into specialists, but we need to upgrade the plots first. So it costs how much? Four to upgrade. So how much lumber are we sitting on? 19. So one, uh, two. We want to make sure people are actually living there too, because they're going to become artisans, right? And uh, upgrade to level two. Great. So we're going to get those. And the good part about upgrading houses is they, um, they generate you passive wealth, regional wealth. And then once they're upgraded, we're going to be able to do some real cool stuff. We'll show you guys how that works. So, um, yeah, we got the church. It's going to be kicking in here soon. We haven't gotten the benefit yet, but we will in due time. So let's fast forward. Stone is being gathered, I believe. Let's see. Uh, yep, they're transporting stone. So now I need to get some of the kilns to uh, turn the clay into clay tiles. So that would be in the industry tab. It would be the clay furnace. All right. So that could be right here. And um, considering I'm going to be making it my primary economy, I'm going to build two of them, actually. And see, like, if we can really go hard in the paint on that. Uh, we'll be making war, like, bow and arrows. Um, spears at some point, maybe. Although, we don't have, like, a good iron situation. So, we might have to just, like, import iron to get these guys. You don't need to put somebody in the church. Look, you see church level right there? So, you get plus two. The only time you need to put somebody in the church is when you need to bury corpses. Uh, as far as I know. So when you put them in there, um, we'll probably upgrade to a stone church before we start selling the tiles. But um, to my knowledge, um, okay, so the forager hut, yeah, it's empty. So yeah, there's no more berries. Okay, so we need to find a more sustainable food source. We got the carrots. Um, I think it might be time to consider some farming, guys. Or desperation importing food, right? All right, ammo fertility. Um, we could have a, yeah, we got roads coming down here. We have an iron deposit, and um, let's go ahead and set this up here. All right. So this is a pretty fertile area um, for farming. So we're going to set up a big old farm. Fields manor lords need to be very large to be effective, but also take long to, uh, for a starting village. Try a field size about one morgan. Okay, I have no idea what that is. If you want a region to focus on farming, you can center spelling developments and heavy plow upgrade. Hmm. Well, let's think about it, actually. Let's think about it. Let us think about it all right so as far as the farming goes let's take a look we have a traditional field um windmill farmhouse here yeah we might just like make a field on this green plot here eggs are also a thing yeah but we don't have any regional wealth right now so we need to get that online um food we have food for 12 months you have only 100 days to build militia i have militia yeah, they would be able to fight off a standard attack, probably. Um, we're also going to build some bowmen. Um, Fletcheries here, which will give us bow and arrows. So we can get the uh, archer militia going, too. So we just need bow and arrows for them. All right. Which we'll get soon. Now, when these houses upgrade, we're going to be ready to party. Yeah, they're getting upgraded right now. And we can probably get a Fletcher online right away. Because our wood eco is uh, could be better, actually. So let's get this logging camp here. Um, let's move it out this way a little bit hmm i'm thinking of like destroying that and moving out towards the trees there we could also get a forester's hut um i think we'll do that in a minute this could be a new residential neighborhood too which isn't a bad idea all right so let's uh go ahead and get you off this and you guys off this and then we can demolish this there's going to be some planks on the ground but the the oxes will come pick them up yeah see the supplies are they're there so just like Age of Empires, you're going to want to like optimize your, your lumber, right? All right. So let's get a logging camp there. And let's get a woodcutter's lodge here. So those are going to get built out. And um, yeah. Shit, do we have enough timber to actually build those? We should. Yeah, we got nine there. All right. Settlement level is increased. So we have the trade stuff. Um, and now we're going to go down and start working towards deep mining to get the free stuff. Yeah, retinue troops are very OP. They are. Great. So we have the charcoal. We can make charcoal, which is cool. Yeah, right? We have the supplies laying around, but the oxen will grab those. And eventually we're going to get this. Let's make these high priority. High priority. All right. Gotta love to see it. 
We got 50 wood planks. Food is going to become a uh, problematic of sorts. Do we have carrots in our food stall? I feel like the carrots, if we do have them, maybe they go really quickly. Granary and yeah, you guys are doing it. Clothing stall is there. Yeah, yeah, we do have carrots. Okay, so there are carrots. You can relocate the buildings without having to demolish them. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Good to know. Remember to set fields to uh, rotate, yeah. We will. I don't think we have enough, like, extra families to work that. All right, they're going to build those, though. So we can see all the ox and villagers going out there. And we do have level two plots now. So uh, we can start on a boyer's workshop. So that's going to be an archery, like a fletchery. Uh, they're going to make bows for our dudes once we get that, you know, popping. These will be done soon. Next to demo button. Thank you. Good to learn. So for any of you guys who are newer, or will be newer, you can relocate your buildings. Level two plots are coming together. We have we have really good growth. We're like, we got people moving in left and right. Let's get you on logging and get you on woodcutters. And then we can also build a uh, forester's hut. So the forester is going to plant trees around here. So we don't need to like move that again. Uh, you can build a kiln now. Instead of building a woodcutter. But you still need for the kiln. Let me check that. Yeah, I do have the upgrade to the new building, which you mentioned. Which would be where? Let's see here. Apiary and charcoal kiln. Uh, it's st You still need the uh, to gather the firewood, and then you turn it into uh, charcoal. Which is twice as efficient, apparently. Yeah, we need some timber for that. So we'll do that eventually, though. You still need the woodcutter to get the pieces. Yeah. As far as I can tell. So the clay furnace is going to be done here soon. We can start on some tiles, which is awesome. Uh, winter is here. We should be fine. We have food for 11 months. Stocks damaged by weather. Oh, they didn't get the, the lumber back in quick enough. Son of a gun. All right, let's see. That storehouse is not full yet. We're going to need another storehouse, though. So let's uh, get on that. And uh, that would be in logistics. Let's get a storehouse here. And where do we want to go? Road access obstructed. Yeah, we're going to need to get that sweet lumber. So another family on, on lumberjacking here. All right. So, yeah, now these guys are going to just start making bows. Yeah, the Fletcher shop. So they're just they're just going to get the, the requisite supplies. And to make the Fletcher, to make the bows, let's see what we need. Yeah, I think you need planks. I'm not sure. We'll see. But regardless, we have that, so it's okay. All right. So the sawmill is, um, let's see. So we have the saw pits back here. They're still making planks for us. We got the level two plots, so we definitely want to get some, um, let's see what other options we have here. Yeah, we wanted to get the, um, the shoes will be another tier. So to upgrade to the next tier of houses, you need to have a tavern. Uh, church needs to be level two. And you need to have like some sort of, uh, you know, additional tier of clothes. So probably just going to go for leather shoes. All right. I think we can just upgrade the storehouse, right? Yeah, we can, so we just need wood. Great, so we'll upgrade the storehouse and that should handle our problems. All right, so yeah, we're gonna be a little bit tight on the planks. Simply because um, we're now making bow and arrows. So how many bows have we made so far? You can go by checking on your militia. We haven't made, okay, we just made two bows. So they are making bows now. We need to get some chickens, we do. Uh, once our wealth increases. Yeah, we need to get the clay furnace cooking. So, wow, you can put a lot of people on that clay furnace. That's pretty insane. How are we doing on fuel? Looks fine. Um, yeah, we got two families building, which is perfect. All right, the Forcer's Hut is done, so we can slap one guy down on there. We go to Advanced, and we can tell him to regrow trees, like, around here. Yeah, so he's going to regrow the forest there and plant trees. So, Bizzle, thanks for all the fun time over the past years. Hey, you're welcome, dude. Hope you guys are having fun. So yeah, we need to get the clay online, but we will soon. Yeah, you can already see the roof tiles are coming in. And this is when we we start really, 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 really going hard. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think just a lot of eggs once we get the money. We'll get our church upgraded, then we're going to start trading like the heathen kings of old. We have the stone being gathered. Um, we have 34 stone out there, which is pretty bonkers. I don't think we need much more stone right now. Yeah, we have 96 stone, so we'll bring that family back. Um... The clay, this is the mining pit, right? Yeah, the clay deposit. 
So we'll get you back there now that we have the, um, the clay operation up and running. So that should get that system going. Villages are looking all right. Yeah, the snow is building up. Yeah, it's really nice. All right, you can see trees have been replanted here. Logging camp is doing good. Yeah, the carrot overlords. I think we need the overpowered eggs. The egg hacks. We're at 78% uh, approval, which means we have high population growth. We still have plenty of houses, if I'm not mistaken. We haven't, like, blundered that too hard. We got 13 timber. And good. Yeah, so they're going to keep growing. Can we build two clay furnaces? I didn't know that you could have so many people uh, in a clay furnace, so we're going to demolish this one and just get the supplies back. Yeah, no sense. The aesthetic of this game is very nice. Yeah, the fighting is really good, too. It's certainly not, like, doesn't happen quickly, but when it does, it's very, very cool. So our militia is archers and spears. Um, we can also make some shields, but I want to kind of keep my planks for some upgrades now. So to get the church upgraded, yeah, we were going to upgrade the storehouse. So storehouse is upgrading, and the granary can also be upgraded eventually, too, although we don't need to. Yeah, we're nowhere near maxing that out. We've certainly been playing it on the wild side with our food. Uh, tiles? We currently have how many tiles? Clay tiles, clay tiles. Where are they? Let's see here. All right, uh, nine roof tiles. Okay, one more and we can get our church upgraded and that's gonna allow us to get, you know, all the houses really geared out. We need to get a lot of timber though. I'm almost tempted to get a second camp out here, but I think three is enough. Con yeah, convince them to build a land ship, yes. That is truly the way. All right, clay has been delivered. They got nine roof tiles and uh, very, very close to getting there. Give it to me, precious. We're in January, so mercenary companies are available. Exposed goods? Yeah, it's just these random pieces of stone laying on the ground here. All right, so we're upgrading that to a stone church, which is the rec uh, one of the main requirements for um, tearing up. Then we need a tavern and another tier of clothing. Well, how do we want to get clothing? Um, we could order some livestock, right? So livestock. Uh, let's see. Okay, so if we wanted to trade for not commodities, but... Correct me if I'm wrong, but you can, like, order livestock, right? Like, sheep? I actually don't know how the sheep mechanic works. Although, we could just be an egg cheeser and just, like, spam eggs, right? Yeah, we still want the... Di oh, and yeah, goats will also give us leather, so we can just make the shoes off that. That might be easier. That might 100% be easier. All right. So, the supplies will be dragged in at some point. Yeah, it's being upgraded right now, no problem. So the storehouse is now a large storehouse, and the church will be upgraded shortly. So we've gotten more families moving in. Um, we can do a residential neighborhood over here, because we might as well start on that project. So let's do this, this, and this. And let's go ahead and turn the way they're facing. There we go. So I'm finally figuring out how to do the houses properly. All right. And we have a well nearby. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't show the, the, the underground water. Let's see if it will show it now. Yeah, see, it's weird. And do I have underground water nearby? I'm pretty sure there's water over here, which should be accessible, so... Yeah, I think it's fine. Alright, guys, no problem. There's an extra livestock, uh, an extra livestock trading post. Understood. So trade, we go to the livestock trading post. Enables with trade points of other set... Of other settled regions. So in this game mode, there are no other settled regions. So that's not going to be possible. Okay, so I would have to have to figure it out otherwise. We're just going to be the egg overlord. How do you claim AI provinces? You use your um, you use your influence here, and once you have enough influence, you can claim a region, which I have like none right now. So this is more of a survival one where you you so you're just trying to hang in there. Um, all right. So the church is being built slowly. It's a, it's a slow process. There's there's houses to be built, which are, of course, very important. Our growth is, yeah, we need to be above 75% right now. All right. And the goods will be grabbed as soon as the storehouse is finished. We'll be in a second. Uh, let's cut a couple of you guys off the logging camp to go help build things. And uh, we want you to keep replanting the trees. Fuel is going okay. Definitely want to get, like, a charcoal uh, kiln. That's going to be pretty nice. We can just slap one down right here. It's going to be like our kind of wood infrastructure here. Great. So let's cut you off that to go help build, and you can go help build, and then we'll pull you guys back in a second. 
So they're going to go, you know, help out with some of these buildings, hopefully. Uh, and yeah, where you see how we're generating some regional wealth. It's not much, but yeah, the storehouse is done now. Great. So that's big. So they're going to start gathering goodies. We have the Fletcher. So our militia are 15 archers. That's great. So we're getting a good core of archers. We got a new family moving in. So we can get you back on the old uh, woodcutter's lodge. And eventually, we, you need a high amount of wood to just mass upgrade your houses, right? Yeah. The stone church is going to be there. And then we need to meet the last requirement to go to the next level, which is going to be um, a tavern and uh, clothing supplies. So game plan is to export clay tiles and mass. We got the church. Dude, 80% approval. 80% approval, baby. Let's go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Tannery. Uh... We don't have anybody working on the tannery at the moment, do we? No. Yeah, get all these houses built just so we don't run into any, any kind of growth issues. It's going to be fine. I'm thinking of getting another hitching post and maybe ordering another ox. Uh, the charcoal kiln will be ready soon, which is going to give us much more efficient fuel. Uh, food is getting a little dodgy, so we definitely need to figure it out here. So clay tiles. What are we sitting on in excess of roof tiles? Okay, so let's go ahead and start trading and we can uh we need a route for this so we need 25 wealth and then we can start selling roof tiles which is a really cost effective trade like really cost effective uh the raiders will attack soon i think i'm adequate i have archers and spearmen um i think we're gonna be okay i i could be wrong i haven't you know played this so i'm not sure cobbler's workshop will give us shoes so we do need that it is going to cost us five wealth but regardless it's a necessity and we don't have enough for the brewers right now. All right, so we're gonna do that. Looking great. Uh, how are we doing in the mining pit? Yeah, we still have plenty there and we have homey mining clay. All right, all right. So two there, forester's hut could be active. Let's go ahead and slap somebody there to keep the lumber going. And okay, we're about to get a cobbler's hut. So that's awesome. Auto save coming down. Yeah, I think I'll be able to fight. I don't know, we'll find out. I could make another boyer shop. I mean, we're currently making good progress with that, I would say. And the sawmill, uh, we do have you there. Just one guy doing it. I think that's all we really need to do. Uh, looks like there's some planks in the other one, so let's switch to the other one. Let's put them in there. Yeah, great. All right. So 82% efficiency means a uh, high growth rate, high population growth. We're making plenty of houses for these bad boys. And um, as soon as we save enough wealth, Definitely want to start upgrading some of the houses here. So these are level two houses, yes. That one is level one. Let's get you leveled up. And um, then we will go ahead and level these bad boys up too. Level up and level up. So we're gonna upgrade all these houses, which is gonna start giving us just a bunch of extra wealth. Yeah, it adds up. And then that's, that's when we get our first trading route. Don't need a family in the trader if you don't trade. That's true actually, I'm not trading at the moment, good point. It's definitely easy to keep tra uh, lose track of things here. It really is. Uh, thinking of getting another hitching post, but I can't afford another, you know, ox anyways. The kiln is not yet done. So let's do some hard fast forwarding. We're through winter. Food is at seven months. Let's see what our food situation looks like in general. Yeah, we have carrots, berries, and some leftover meat. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Yeah, the growth is fine. Uh, raiders are going to be here soon-ish. Our archers are at 16 of uh, 36. So yeah, the bow, the bowman will be ready. I think we can take the first raider. I don't know. It's only going to get more intense, though. Apparently, that's how this scenario works. Uh, how many of you guys have seen this scenario, by the way? Yeah. I'd be curious. Now, let's see if there's anything we would want to trade. We do have a lot of stone, actually. So we can slap somebody on the trade post again and just export some stone just to try and get some wealth. So let's go ahead and uh, export. And we're gonna do it till the desired surplus is gonna be, we just wanna keep like maybe, how much do we need for our manor? Uh, 15, okay, so we can just keep like 30 or something. That's gonna be okay. All right, trade and um, let's go ahead and set it so we keep 30. So we're gonna start exporting uh, stone. All right, so we get families moving in. We got our new plots being set up. And I'm thinking about maybe doing a little farming action. Although, I mean, is our food really problematic? Do we really need more? I mean, the wheat would open up some food variety. Uh, how's our lumber looking? I think we're okay. I think we're just going to be the egg overlord. You know, I, I think we're... 
This is the middle difficulty, it's normal. We played on the easier one yesterday. This is like normal, so I have no idea what we're gonna be facing. Hopefully it'll be something formidable. But if not, then we'll make sure to get it right uh, one of the following times. Yeah, so those houses are built, man. We got plenty of room for people. We got plenty of room. Stone is limited. Yeah, we still have a, a, a rich stone deposit, which we're gonna be able to do deep mining on that. So we can set up a deep mining camp and it's gonna give us infinite stone. We will see. Yeah, I guess we will, huh? Uh, archers are up to 17. Yeah, we got the Fletcher going. He's slowly equipping those bad boys. These plots are being upgraded. Um, I could also call in some mercs. I think, actually, I don't have any wealth, so no, that's not gonna happen. We got 14 regional wealth. All right, let's fast forward a little bit. Mercenaries are gonna be here in 19 days. I hope we can do well. Okay, Kilvasa has leveled up. Yes, now we can do deep mining, which is gonna give us passive, passive infinite goodies on these regions. All right, so let's see how this works exactly. So deep mining requires 50 wealth and 10 planks. Okay, and can we do it here? Okay, oh no, it's not for stone, okay. Understood, understood. So that's only for the like, the, like iron and, um, and it's only on rich deposits too, right? Yes, so we, we're gonna get infinite clay tiles basically, which is quite good. Our wealth is up to 14, gotta love it. We got a lot of houses being upgraded to tier two. It's work in progress. Let's get the fast forwarding going so the families can get that done quicker. We have the cobbler shop. Um, did shoes get distributed to the people yet? I don't think so, not yet, no. We do not have, uh, we do not have the tannery online right now. Let's put you in the tannery and, uh, but we also don't have goats producing. Okay, so now we have 30. Resource stolen, oh, stupid bandits stole my carrots, okay. So, construction, we're gonna set up a trade route for this. Yes. And then we're gonna go ahead and just uh, export. Trade until the desired surplus is reached. Export, and we're gonna just, I don't really care if I have a surplus of tiles for now, so we're just gonna do zero. All right. Great, so we're hard trading tiles now. So we're gonna be rich as hell. It's gonna be absolutely crunk. Uh, so timber and planks, and to get the deep mining, we need 50 wealth, which our wealth should start to skyrocket now. And then we can invest in eggs and carrots and and all the things that we need to, you know, and, and apple orchards, although we don't have orchard stuff. Okay, so we can grow apples. Oh, so maybe we put a point here to get apples. That wouldn't be bad. All right, we got options there. What kind of monster steals carrots? You know, I almost feel bad for them. They're just like hungry people out, you know, I'm, yeah, I don't know. So it's, it's a little, a little sad. So let's augment the clay operation. Do we want to do that? Get like two and two to try and keep pace with demand that we're gonna be getting here. We have the cobbler shop and the Fletcher shop. We need to get some goats uh, so we can get hides from them. That's gonna be next up on the docket. So let's uh, fast forward and watch our wealth. Uh, okay, so we just traded some stone. Uh, other trade options here. So we're exporting and we can kind of chill out on trading stone. I don't think it's even really worth it anymore. Okay, so homie's coming to get the clay tiles for us. So we paid for like a root, so he's gonna be there uh, to get the goods. All right, so wealth is at 10. I, I believe that should be enough to get some. Uh, we have the carrot farms up here, um, and then we have this plot, which is being upgraded, this one. It's 25 wealth to get the goats. Okay. Yeah, money maker, the tile, cl the tile crew is here, and I, it should pay us a pretty penny when he, when he gets here. Yeah, you see, we're trading uh, roof tiles right now. And uh, yeah, we should get a lot of those between the clay furnace and the, we need to get the deep mining before this runs out though, or else I think you screw it up. So what is that, 10 planks, which I think we have enough. Oh, we don't have many planks at all actually. A bandit camp was sighted, okay. So here they come. I'm pretty sure the bandits are attacking me now. I don't know where they are. Let's see. Okay, so we know where the bandit camp is. They're probably gonna attack us, no problem. We haven't started on farms yet. I think we're gonna be the egg overlord. I think that's probably a little bit more our speed. Uh, the saw pit, on the other hand, you can see, yeah, we're getting the forester to plant some trees out there, which is great. Charcoal kiln will help us with more efficient firewood. So probably worth putting at least one guy on there. 
We got seven timber here and the woodcutter's lodge and the saw pits. Yeah, we need to get the saw pits operational. So we can get another guy in this saw pit here and or we could just double up on this one. Great. All right. All right, team. People are going to be eating berries mostly. Turns trading. I am trading. It's OP. Soon we're going to get a lot of money when that trades off. All right, so we got the wild animals that are back. We can actually go hunting animals again, um, but I have things I'm building still, so we'll wait till we get more growth. All right. So I don't know when the banditos are coming. Enemy unit spotted. Okay, here we go. Enemy unit spotted. Yeah, so it's still a minor raid. It's not going to be too bad. When they get here, we're going to crush them. We'll, we'll summon the elector counts, and they're going to get just taken apart. So we'll fast forward until they get here. Yeah, we have trees being planted. All these are being planted right now. We have a forester's hut, so. Raiders near, it says. All right, how near are we talking? We're still a ways away, right? They're all the way up here. Trade point, cheap goods. Oh, okay, so we see the trade point there. Understood. Look how much wealth we got. We got 301 wealth. Oh my God. Trading clay tiles, OP. All right, so there's people on all these, right? Yeah, these are miners mostly. So we're going to go ahead and set up a uh, chicken coop. Chicken coop. Release the chickens. All right. So we're getting a couple chicken coops. We have people living in here. We do. So we're going to go ahead and set you up with the goat shed. And you guys are going to be the goat shed. Oh, my God. And then you can just boom up, right? Yeah. Wowza. That's really good. That's really, really good. Eggs for the egg god. Eggs for the egg throne. Um, wow, that's really strong. Maybe make a better road connection. I don't know. Build the road to the edge of the map for better trade speed. Okay. Uh, we have this right here. Is this what you're referring to? So cheap goods for import, good value to export, and then it says here cheap goods. I mean, we have a road directly back here, right? Yeah. 50 for deep mine, yeah. Okay, so now for the deep mine, uh, we're going to go ahead and upgrade that. No, we need some planks. Okay, so we need to get the saw pit going. Uh, the planks are being used pretty heavily for our, our archer militia, but we do need that. Cobbler shop uh, is going to get hides online. Let the chickens feast. Dude, the chickens will feast. You just watch. Okay, so these are all going to be upgrading here. We'll make sure to get those all pimped out. Um, currently, growth is respectable. Raiders are where? So enemy was sighted. Family members joined. Good. I don't know where the raiders are, like how close they are. I guess we'll see them coming soon. Eggs for the egg throne, yeah. So we got like a bunch of chicken coops coming down over here. These are still being upgraded, yeah. Uh, we need to save some money for the deep mine. Yeah, that that like that tile export thing is really strong. It's really strong. All right, let's fast forward. Uh, food, we probably want to get back on the hunting camp here. Uh, nothing to forage, so we can honestly just re we could relocate it. Do we have any other foraging areas? We don't. Pretty sure we forged that to extinction, so we can just demolish that. And hunting camp. How are the animals looking up here? We do have only 12, so it wouldn't be much hunting, but it's better than none, I guess. Yeah, he's on it already. All right. So we don't see the raiders yet. I wish there was like a more easy way to kind of scout that. Raiders in the forest at the hunting cabin, are they? Did I miss it? All right. So anyways, we're going to marshal the militia. Summon the elector counts. All right. So the, the, the villagers are going to rally to fight off the haggard raiders. They're going to get wrecked uh, pretty bad. All right. So the spearmen are, are levied and they're going to be charging forth. The raiders, I think, are nearby. I, I wish I could see them a little bit better. If I hit tab, is that going to show me where they are? They must be nearby somewhere, right? They must be. Uh, we need 10 planks for that. And currently, man, we're just not getting any planks whatsoever. So let's pause on this for now. That is a cobbler shop. Um, which one is the Fletcher? That's the Fletcher shop. So we're going to pause. Oh, no, we don't want to demolish that. And I could have sworn I saw the Raiders as well. We got our, our spearmen and we got our archers. We'll unleash some hellish salvos. Oh, hold on. I see them. Here they come. The brigands, they come forth from the trees. 
Yeah, this is cool. All right, let's do like, uh, I don't know if, like what formations are best. We're gonna do this and do stand your ground. Hold, peasants! <laughs> the archers are ripping shots into them already, see? They're getting, they're getting blasted a little bit. Oh, okay. Did we do any damage there? Yeah, oh man, that archer volley hit hard there. Okay, so yeah, oh my god, archer's OP! Just, I guess they were in history too, right? So then what we can do is we can move around the side. I don't want to friendly fire any of the boys. So we're gonna go ahead and get up and around the side. The archer's like cleaned house. Uh, let's get here, do this, and we also need to set up a uh, corpse pit. So that's gonna need to be uh, residential, and we'll set up a corpse pit. And they'll be buried far away from the town, because you don't want their stench. All right. They've been defeated! Yes, be gone! All right, so now the raiders have been despoiled. Um, we, di we didn't take any casualties ourselves, which is great. But we're gonna need to deal with their corpses, so let's disband the units and disband the units. All right. Yeah, better make sure they're obeying the attacking rules. Yes, the total war cometh. All right, so yeah, they're gonna get back to work. Obviously, those are the townspeople, right? It's not, it's not just uh, not just anyone fighting. Population's growing. We finished the firewood stall. You see, the trees are growing back here. So the logging camp's gonna be back online here. So let's get another one on logging. And the saw pit currently has two. So we should start accumulating planks again. What are these people doing? No, that's the wrong one. Okay, so yeah, they're waiting on an ox. That's right. So probably something else I should consider doing is gonna be, um, well, some of the elector counts and go battle them uh, in their territory again as well. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we can upgrade this, right? So we can order another light, order another ox. We're gonna order another ox here. Now we can only do it every thirty days, so we need more oxen. Manor lords, uh, I was I was corner camping. Yeah, I should have corner camped. That would have been funny. See, so yeah, charcoal is is uh, they're taking the firewood and making it into charcoal here. How are our eggs looking, by the way? Yeah, bodies need burial, see? So the corpse pit will be done soon. Let's make that a high priority, because if I don't bury them, um, we're gonna get some you know, problems. There's gonna be some disease. I don't know how far away you actually need to set it up, but yeah, we're gonna assign two families to go pick up the corpses. Because if you don't, you see they just they just hang out here and cause disease and shit, so we need to, we need to get on that. Is that almost done? It's almost done. All right, so now we get, let's go get two families to just power through that. And uh, when that's done, we can we can bring them back here. So they should be handling that now. Who needs state troopers? Well, they they basically are early state troopers. Yeah, uh, I kind of want to see what it looks like when the villagers gra go grab them. Let's see. So if we go here, collecting body. So Fritz is he's like this job is just trash. Yeah. So they're gonna go transport the corpses, and he's transporting war bows. Yeah. I don't know why he's transporting war bows. We're almost, we're almost good on war bows. The Fletcher shop has been disabled for now, so I can build up the planks. I don't know where all my planks are going, to be honest. Uh, where would my planks be getting used? Just like the straight-up wood planks, right? Let's see if we can get some here. Okay, we don't have enough stable space, so we need to upgrade this, right? Which is going to be two freaking planks. Where the hell are our planks at? We have 31 timber right now. Uh, you guys are in a saw pit here. Waiting on an ox. Okay, so they're waiting on an ox. They're all waiting for some reason. Are the oxen just busy doing other things, I guess? Huh. Picking up corpses as he walks through the trees. Yeah, he is. They're, that's what they're going to do right now, the grave diggers. Transmitting firewood. Uh, collecting body. Yeah, Fritz is about to go grab one. All right, here he comes. Let's see what this looks like. Is he gonna just like haul that shit over his shoulder? Some rotten ass body. All right, Fritz, come on, show us what you got. Oh yeah, dude, He's, he hauls that thing over his shoulder. It does disappear, but it's fine. So the Fletcher shop is currently on pause, so it shouldn't be doing anything. Uh, joiner shops, you don't have any more joiner shops. We have a cobbler shop. He's currently waiting. So if we pause that, will the people go do other things? 
Or no, they're just gonna be waiting, yeah. I don't have any hides at the moment. We got the, the, the chicken coops doing their thing. We have the goats. Yeah, we have the, the goat operations here. Fully armed and operational goat battle stations. Looks like you maybe need more to keep pace, right? Instead of the goat there. All right, so yeah, we have enough here. Just keep one on there for now, and then the rest of you guys, the corpses are being slowly picked up. So these guys are guiding an ox. Okay, they're now, I think they're going to get wood. I'm not sure. Harvesting. Yeah, the planks should come back online, right? I don't know why they're all waiting and not doing anything. This is very strange. It's very strange. Uh, are the planks all going to the kiln? No, that's just for the charcoal, which gives us a good amount of fuel. Uh, the berry bushes, oh, they actually regrew. Okay, interesting. So they're, they are growing right now. So we're gonna wanna get those again. No, Forester's Hut, we wanna get the berry bushes. Great. Huh. Why, oh why am I not getting planks? Uh, my trading planks, something stupid like that. No, we're just trading clay tiles. That economy is booming. That's going very well. We got two on the saw pit. Guiding an ox. Going home, waiting. Sawmill. Um, so we have a logging camp here. The forester is planting. The woodcutter's lodge. He's doing that. I believe I have people on the granary still. Yeah, and we also have people on the warehouse. We have 31 firewood here. Yeah, I don't. I think there's like a bug right now. This seems buggy. So let's delete this one. Yeah, we'll just demolish that, and then we're gonna go ahead and put two of you guys in here and see what they end up doing. Okay, are they? Okay, somebody got sick. That's unfortunate. Waiting and going home. Uh, carpenter. Yeah, harvesting, transporting. This is really slowing me down here. I need to figure this out. Bodies are still being buried. Nothing is being brought there. Maybe now they're gonna do it. Transporting timber, okay, let's see. The oxes, I think maybe we're busy doing other things. Like, they might have been busy building. Oh no, they're, they're, they're going out here. <laughs> okay, new mercenary company is available. Let's see if the ox are gonna come back. It looks like they are guiding them. It's fine, I don't mind if I'm set back a little bit. Yeah, they're all waiting. He's he's under the weather, that's unfortunate, poor guy. Let's put somebody on the forager hut to make sure we have some food, because food's running a little bit a little bit scary here. There's only one body that needs burial, so we can go ahead and cut one of you families off. I think that's gonna be enough. Uh, they're waiting on an ox, is that what it is? All right, so we can just make more hitching posts, because we didn't have the uh, planks to even upgrade them, so I think we have to just be real janky-like and just make more hitching posts here. We're just gonna go hard in the paint and make like five oxes just going bananas here. All right, so they should get constructed here. Yeah, they're setting up the hitching posts, so that will give us our extra ox. Um, we got two families just Netflix and chilling here, transporting. It would normally say waiting on an ox, though, which I'm confused about. Huh. Is the log camp on unlimited harvester range? I mean, yeah, I have plenty of logs. If you look here, I have 38 timber, which is not being turned into planks. So it's a little bit funky. It's okay, team. We're going to figure this out together. We're going to see what's cracking and uh, get to the bottom of it. Yeah, maybe they're building something. Maybe building other things and I didn't have enough oxen is maybe what I suspect. Uh, not enough stable space. Yeah. These are gonna get built now, no problem. So we'll do some fast forwarding. I have some wealth. I have 293 wealth again, wow. How are we doing on the food stall, by the way? Yeah, we do have eggs, that's great. So the dreaded houses with the chickens. Uh, let's just make this like a whole chicken row here. We're just gonna passively grow eggs here. I'm gonna become the, the chicken master. And here, um, this is gonna be goat city, so it's gonna smell like goats over here. I, I apologize to their neighbors ahead of time. Uh, yeah, flattening ground. Okay, so they're, they're building, got it. And uh, yeah, we can do some upgrades. Cause we have the timber, I mean, we might as well just upgrade everything. 
Oh, these two are still constructing. Oh, okay, maybe it's because we're building so much shit and, you know, we didn't have enough, like, posts. Okay, so that's gonna be another post there. So now we should have a third ox going around. This is, uh, unfortunately still not working. Carpenter? Is it because they're assigned to a different task? Cobbler shop? The Fletcher shop is disabled for now. Are they taking the... We have four bows here, ready to go. Hmm. Do you have a storage center? Do you have a storage center and not just a grainer? Yeah, I have a large storehouse. And I do also have uh, this. We can put somebody on the tannery again. To make some shoes and whatnot. Our houses are basically ready to go to the next tier. We just need to get the shoes online, which uh, he's going to do in a second, whoever I assign to this. Resources stolen by bandits. I think we got to go squash the bandits once we get a manor. We're going to go up there and just, just absolutely bully them. Yeah, 25 timber. I wish I could, like, manually tell them to take it to the sawmill, because this is really janky. Uh, all right. I could assign people the ox, I guess. Yeah, it's not the worst idea in the world. We're kind of desperate here. So if I assign them to the ox, it's going to be, um, yeah, so they're going to, they're going to help out there. We got two of you guys. Usually I have, I've never had to do that. Okay, so let's just like desperation try something. So we're going to go ahead and set up uh, some sawmills out here. Maybe that'll help with like the AI's priority. All right, so we're going to do that. We're gonna destroy this one. Let's demolish that. Okay. Yeah, the road was... The, I had been using that sawmill the entire game and it just randomly stopped working, so we're gonna build this one up and hope for the best. Uh, can we order another ox? Let's order another ox here and we'll get... Um, he is not being used right now. We even have an ox kind of chilling out, so we'll get somebody assigned to you. All right, so that's being built. We're getting a lot of timber right now. You need to build the spice refinery? I think so. The, they don't spawn, you buy them. I, I have several oxen. I really don't know if I need to assign people here. I don't know if I do. Yeah, upgrade to small stables. We'll just have our hitching post here. We have Chicken City. We have the goat, the goat economy going strong. Uh, I haven't been able to get my deep mining, which is really frustrating, because I, 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 I want to take advantage of that tech I've gotten. Uh, let's get you on the berry bushes. They can forage. We have the hunters going here. All right. You have to build an ox factory? Yeah, sure seems like it. All right, let's do fast forwarding here. Get this sawmill on and, or saw pit and see if that works. I think we have enough. How many families? Yeah, we have enough to get more families. Let's make that a high priority construction. It seems we have some ox just chilling, so maybe there's not enough like tasks for them, but there should be in a second. You can assign an ox to the sawmill itself. All right. Uh, can we? It says livestock, but I... Uh, permanent livestock? Okay, so we've gotten you permanently assigned. It is connected to the uh, network here, so let's get you there. And uh, I don't know if we actually need someone here guiding you. Let's go there. So we got double in there. Okay, let's start. see if it starts working now. Transporting, waiting, and is there going to be some wood brought here? Oh, finally, it's working again. Okay. It's working, baby. We got it. Yeah, so we, assigning an ox just to that building uh, has made it more efficient. So now we're going to be plan we're going to be planking, dude. Yeah. All right. 421 wealth, dude. We can we can definitely tax tax and uh, go hard in the paint there. I think some big carrot fields would be really good too, at some point or other. Charcoal kiln is making us charcoal. Fuel is good for four months. Uh, we don't have anyone to assign here. Foresters regrowing things. And let's just have you work uh, wherever you want. Just plant trees nearby. No, it's working now. We're, we're planking now, see? It's coming up. So we are gonna be able to get that deep mine here very soon. All right, guys, we're back online. Sorry about that. That was that was very weird. That was very buggy. And uh, we want to upgrade houses too. So these are level two. We're gonna upgrade you. Upgrade you. 
It's gonna help their wealth, and we have tons of planks, so why the hell not? Okay, very good. So yeah, we got the goat party going on on this side. And uh, we do have a family chilling on the hitching post. We do. Let me get them out of here. They can go build things. Uh, the saw pit is full. Yeah, that's a good problem to have. They're going to turn those into planks. So we'll set up another saw pit right next to it. I feel like that might have been what caused the bug before. So I'm a little nervous about doing that. Hopefully they can just turn that into, uh, into old planks. All right. So now we have 15, so we can set up the deep mining, which is going to give us uh, perpetual mining. So that's going to be upgraded, and uh, it gives us like infinite mining on there. So we can just keep this clay tile economy booming. Speaking of, how many clay tiles are we sitting on right now? Uh, that's generic resources. Let's do this. Roof tile is 15. Okay, so yeah, we're just selling them, you know, as quick as we're getting them, which is great. All right, team. We're hanging in there. Houses are being upgraded. Uh, lumber is still coming in at a pretty efficient rate. We got the foresters going hard. Could assign another one, but we're going to need more families. We're at 90% approval rating, which is good. Um, we can get our Fletchery back online, I guess. Now that we are going to have some extra planks, we can start, you know, Fletching bows again. We want to get our Archer Militia f fully maxed out, and then we can start selling bows, basically. Um, extra ones that we have. Uh, all right, so other specialty spots. We can make wooden parts. We got shoes being made. What requirements do we need to get to the next tier? So shoes will happen eventually here. Pretty sure we had somebody here, but do we have any shoes? They just haven't been distributed to every house yet. Okay. Yeah, we don't have a lot of shoes at the moment. Let's see, so we got the firewood stall. We got the good food variety. Yeah, eggs, a lot of eggs. Eggs are delicious. Clothing, we have a lot of leather. Hmm. We have a lot of leather. And uh, we need to get the cobbler. Yeah, that's right. We need to get a cobbler, man. Did we pause cobbler, man? Yeah, we did pause cobbler, man. Oh, I might have paused the wrong one. Maybe? No, I don't think so. So the cobbler shop is going to get online. So they'll start making shoes for everybody. And we'll see how we want to play this. As far as population goes, I mean, we can make another neighborhood on the other side. We can make some more chickens here. Chickens! Chickens! Oh no, I didn't mean to upgrade that, but that's fine. It's just gonna get upgraded. Yeah, so we need to get a, a manor, which is gonna give us professional soldiers. So that is at the manor here, which needs 20 planks. So yeah, we're gonna need to do it. We're gonna need to do it. Okay, the auto save. Uh, and I think we could summon some elector counts and go smash those, those barbarians who keep stealing from us. Uh, all right, let's go here. Let's get another saw pit. Hopefully that won't bug out again. We're gonna see. Great, so we're gonna build that. Hopefully it won't be an issue. We see the forester replanting trees like an absolute chad. Lumberjacking, we need to get another on lumberjacking. We only have one person basically not doing anything right now. So the people are pretty active. And uh, where do the barbarians seem to come from the north? So I'm thinking for the manor, I'm going to set it up like right here on the edge of the village. Although they came through the trees here. I suspect the pathing will be pretty similar. Although there is another bandit camp. Where is it? In the middle? Okay. Hopefully the bandits will get harder. Somebody did say that this, this mode was supposed to be more difficult. Um, yeah, clay tiles going great. We're, we're trading very well. Huh. Yeah, the manor, I think... Like at the crossroads, like up here would be a good spot. I think that's where they spawned from last time. We're likely to get attacked from the north, so seems fine. Seems fine. So we got the hard fast forwarding going. The saw pit is full. Yeah, no surprises. We have another family coming in. Uh, we can get them assigned to the second saw pit that we have. Let's see. Yeah, clay furnace is going hard. I don't know if we need two on there. Maybe. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. But I want to build a couple things here. Yeah, market stalls are looking good. Uh, people are going to start getting shoes here shortly. The cobbler are, uh, they're doing it. It just needs to, uh, you know, make enough to, to fill out our population. Then we can start upgrading everything. Generic storage full. Yeah, no problem. Uh, other things we want to upgrade. We could do, um, upgrade these. Yeah, now that we have some planks. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, upgrade you to a small stable here. Cool. So that will allow us to get two battle cows. Yeah, so we can get more cattle. 
Yeah, chopping the forest to the north doesn't seem like a bad idea. So, you guys said I can relocate this building, the logging camp. Press to change for free. That is a really, really nice. Um, I don't want to log too far because it'll scare the wild animals away. So, this is a rich deposit, and um, we can start laying claim to other areas soon-ish. 100%. Yeah, could make a tailor and import some linens. I mean, I can I can do some importing. I can go go uh, get crunk with that. Linen is reasonably cheap, um, but the shoes are gonna fulfill the need. I kind of want to import some spears to get our spear militia fully pimped out. Love our spear wall. So we need 16. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start importing some spears. So let's go to trade. Because I assume this is going to get harder. If it doesn't, then, you know, it is what it is. We would need a root, but that's nothing. It's only 25, and I'm pretty rich now. So we're going to go ahead and import until we get um, 16 spears. Great. Uh, as far as other stuff goes, we can make shields. Because we, we, we have the... Uh, we can get a joiner's shop here. So we're going to set that up, and he's going to be able to make large shields. So from here, we will have, um, the bows are still being made, right? Or is it still paused? Yeah, they're making bows, I think. Let's see. Yep. They're transporting resources. Trees are being replanted around here. Logging camp needs to be fully operational. Wood is going to be a big part of everything here. So we're going to start losing some wealth by importing spears, but I want to get my spear militia, like, fully, fully ready to go. All right. So the deep mine is still under construction, really. Wow, okay, I thought that would be done. All right, so let's, uh, how many, yeah, we have 15 timber. Let's get you guys to go build a couple things and then we'll we'll come back. The deep mine never got finished, which is pretty troll. So we need to get that online to keep our economy afloat. All right. Yeah, these are just the saw pit. I don't think we need more. Let's demolish that. We're gonna get a joiner shop. So we have that now and um, we're gonna make large shields. Yeah, large shields are good. There we go. So that will help our spear militia get pimped out, and then we're going to import the spears. And then we can look into getting some armor, because um, we're pretty wealthy uh, exporting these tiles with the infinite. So yeah, I really like how you play off your territory. That's fun. Uh, we could take some militia over once we... I think we leave the archers at home. Although archers would get massacred on their own. Although they might be able to kill something in open field, depending on the circumstances. Yeah, we don't need to bury anybody. Our approval is 82%. The deep mine is now done. Good. So now we have the deep mine done, so there's going to be passive infinite mining from there. Uh, we imported some spears, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what that looks like. Um, now we have how many spears? We have 14 more? Is that going to... Are they here at the trade post? Yeah. See, we just imported three spears. Okay. So it's like a little bit at a time. Uh, so, quick question. For anybody who's a little bit newer, um, if the more families I assign to the trade post, I'm guessing uh, after replacing that, we could assign a livestock to this. Okay, so we need to assign a livestock. So, we're going to wait till there's an available one. We have the small stable here. I don't know what the difference is. Like... Yeah, I, I'm just going to order one of those, and then we're also going to get a horse here at the other one. Okay, so we have another ox. We're going to assign you and get a, another family on the trading post. I don't know what kind of a difference it makes, but... Yeah. We are uh, we're fast-forwarding a little bit, yeah. All right, so... We got the deep mining operation going. We probably are going to need more houses here soon. Our lumber is at 12 because we did cut off lumber to get those buildings going. So now let's get back on the logging camp. Uh, this plot is level two. We can do a lot of stuff. A tailor's workshop. So it enables cloaks and gambesons. More families, faster trade, more traders, yeah. So more families, faster trade, more traders, audit. So that's pretty important for us then. So we'll, we'll keep augmenting that. Thank you, appreciate the tips. Okay. So we have shoes, all we need is a tavern now, okay. It's time to get crunk, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get crunk nasty. We're going to drink it up. We're going to have some sweet Guinness. Um, tavern can go right over here, actually. That's a pretty good spot. It's, like, centralized. And, and uh, we can set up a road here so these people can get to it easily, too. I know it doesn't really matter, but, you know, for flavor, it's going to be fun. 
All right, so the tavern is gonna be constructed here. We have the joiner shop making shields. So we're going through planks, I would imagine, very quickly. Uh, our militia are 24 spears and yeah, okay, we're, we're increasing slowly but surely. Great. We need to pull some guys off. I wanna keep the clay operation going real hard because that's like hard selling and we're making a lot from that. Um, saw pit, we got 22 planks chilling here, great. All right, that's good. So we're actually pretty good on planks at the moment. The joiner's workshop, are they working? Yeah, they're transporting uh, planks to make equipment. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, I believe we got pop cap just now. So we can make another neighborhood over here. Uh, I need to see where my underground water is. Okay, so maybe we do another village up here. Because we need to have water supply. That's got to be 16 wood. That's what she said. That's quite a bit. All right, let's get another one here. So we need to get some lumber. Yeah, some timber. Generic storage is full. Unassigned families to work on the tavern. I know. We got the storehouse. 11 bows in there. So those are going to be slowly distributed out to the people. 250 berries. Oh, wow. We have food for 14 months. Uh, we're in June, so we have time until the uh, until the dark until the darkness comes for us. Woodcutters Lodge. Yeah, log logging camp's going. Yeah, we, I think we're going to set up farms next year. I think we're okay on that. We need to probably have someone out building. Lumber Eco should be picking up here in a second. What we could do is... Um, do I want to import? I mean, I'm pretty damn rich, right? Like, why not? Um, let's import some... Construction is planks and materials. We could just do... Couldn't we just import some, some timber? Or can you not do that? Importing OP, right? Yeah, it looks like I can only get planks. Uh, yeah, nothing there. We do want to start importing barley for our tavern. So what we can do is we can import that. We're going to set up a trade route because we are rich enough to do it. And um, I don't quite know how much barley I'm going to need. But we will, uh, we will do it. So we're going to just go for 25 right now. And, uh, all right, so this one could be upgraded to a brewer's extension. Oh, it's from malt, not barley. Wait, no, and then, hold on. Uh, I might have screwed that up. It's okay, let me, let me double check that. So, industry. All right, so, let's see here. Residential. It needs ale to function. So, ale, the chain for ale is what? Hang on a sec. I haven't really done this too much yet, so we're going to learn right here. Okay. So it looks like there was a save going down. Um, the trade route, we can go ahead and... Uh, you have the roof tiles being exported in droves. Crops, we were going to import some barley, but let's hold off on that. Yeah, supply cap OP, it really is. Okay. It's fine. How much lumber do we got? 12. I guess we just set up some houses, because being supply blocked is just painful, so um, we need to be continuously growing here. Uh, let's go ahead and rotate them. We could do a big plot here. And have this be like a carrot field. I don't think that's a bad idea, so that, that's going to get built out. Um, requirements not met. Okay, so somebody over here isn't happy. What requirement are they not getting? Food stall supply? They just haven't gotten the goods yet. Okay. So, for some reason, the food stall hasn't delivered to them yet. But let's go ahead and make you a... Uh, you could just be a uh, egg overlord also. Yeah, hopefully that will help. Alright, how to get... Yeah, we're learning here today. Food cart, yeah, I haven't gotten any of the text for those. And uh, for the boozing, we've got the joiner shop, cobblers, fletchers, and this one has an open spot. So we need to get malt. Malt, alright. So that's what we need to be trading for. Right? Food and um, honey meat. Huh. Let's see. The number you put in the market is a surplus, so you will buy until you have that amount over, so you don't need that many for spears. The number you put in the market is surplus, so you will buy till you have that amount. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I was trying to get 16 spears. Although I guess now it should just... Oh, okay. I think I get what you're saying. I think I get what you're saying. Well, the spears, how many spears are we rocking now, anyways? What are they in our storehouse? They just haven't been handed out yet to the people? 
No, we'll see how we'll see how it goes. Okay. Perfect. Barley into malt into beer. That's what I thought. Okay. We're gonna trade for barley. That's right, we have to build a special building. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, trade here. Cool. Let's see how that goes. And the old tavern is gonna get built up eventually. Here, um, I don't know. Yeah, they're still needing... Approval will fall if not fulfilled. At least one type of food supplied in the marketplace. So the market's a little further away. I wonder if that becomes a problem. Do I need to build like multiple marketplaces? It sounds like maybe I do to support all that. I am the overlord of chickens after all. Gotta get that thumbs down out of here, dude. Jeez, come on. Lumber camp's going. We got 12 on timber. Um, houses are being built up out here. It's gonna take a minute, but it should be fine. The tavern is now finished. So we need to get a um, an industry building, right? Yeah, to build a malt house. I wish I could build that here. I wish I could fit it right there. That'd be nice. I think we can get it like on the road here. All right, that's pretty close there. Perfect, so we got a malt house now. I definitely screwed up on not building more houses. That was a, that was a mistake. Um, we can set up a roadhouse. I'm gonna do a roadhouse here. I'm trying to think, yeah, I kind of want to keep the residential areas near the markets. You know, I think I think that's pretty important. All right, so let's go times four speed. Do this, this, and this, this. We go over here. Oh yeah. And then we can rotate, and yeah, we can have a lot of a lot of smaller houses here. So we don't want to run out of housing again. So we're just gonna set that up. We do have a corpse pit. It's up here. We got attacked once by raiders, um, so we had to deal with that. Fuel for four months. So this house is done. It is a big old plot. We do not have the timber to expand it yet, but we will soon. It's gonna be a carrot farm because it's a big plot. So I think that's good. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna start. We missed out. But that supply block probably cost us like five or six families in that time. So definitely important to stay on top of that. So we got barley coming in. Great. All right, the barley, it's on the way. Malt house, we need to assign a family to that. So let's get one of you guys off the uh, lumberjacking. We're gonna assign him to the malt house and then they're gonna bring it to a, uh, a brewer, which I don't know if I made that yet. I don't think I did. All right, so now we're gonna have a brewery right here. I don't know if we need two, but I think one is gonna be fine. All right, so is this plot being set? Yeah, it's got fuel. I don't know. I don't know if my guys will set up another market though. I don't know if they will. Yeah, these houses, they're getting their needs met. Yeah, they, they get deliveries, I think. Seems like maybe we need to set up another marketplace. Let's experiment with that. I've never tried that, so we're gonna we're gonna whip it out here in a second. Logistics, yeah, that's pack station storehouse. Um, maybe we need another storehouse to distribute more goods to different markets. It could be. I don't know, actually. I don't know. There's too many northern forests to grow a colony. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We will see. We got the lumberjacking going here. I don't want to cut through my my natural supplies there. Our food is really good. We got 15 months worth of food. We got the wild game over here. I think we can uh, go ahead and move this operation here. So we're gonna go ahead and do the free move. Relocate right there. Um, that's actually not a bad spot, like right here. So that's nice that I can do that. And then I think this one gets a free relocation too. All right, so that's cool how it does that. Um, we got the Forester's Hut, so he's going to keep replanting. And in the meantime, we need to connect roads out there, obviously. All right, so those are all connected there. A couple of random pieces of wood were left out in the rain here, but they'll hopefully get brought in. All right, so now we got more family space. Let's go ahead and uh, expand the living space here on this plot. And we have all the, the small ones being built. Now we actually have families, you know, doing stuff. Foresters are replanting. Charcoal is going to keep our fuel. Ooh, we might need to get more fuel. We're in August. Winter, winter is coming. And yeah, we need to we need to be on top of that. Market should supply everyone. It's just the scarce resources, the closer ones, limited around four. More resources should solve the issue. Got it. Okay. <laughs> more eggs. More chickens. More chickens for the chicken god. How many spears do we have right now? 43 war bows. Okay. So we got 43 war bows. I think we can we can pause out on the Fletcher shop. 
Uh, and all right, so let's see here. So if we pause this, level three, yeah, we need to get the tavern going and then we can upgrade to level three. The tavern uh, now has a family working in it. All right, so we are importing the barley. And I don't think we need more bows, so we can go ahead and pause. Now, if I demolish this Fletcher shop, is it going to destroy the housing too, or will it just destroy the Fletcher shop? Because I really... It says I have a lot of war bows. So I just not, I probably just don't have the people to fill out the militias, right? That's what it is. Okay. Yeah, so we're just missing recruits. Yeah. Could sell the bows too. Uh, so let's go to the military equipment, war bows. So we will set up a route. And if I do a full trade, no, that's, so it'd be exporting. All right. So how do I make it so, yeah, I have 43, current surplus is 43. So do I just need 36? Is that how I would do it? So I would sell until I only have 36 war bows? I think that's how we would do it, right? Yeah, so if I keep it at 36, it's gonna keep my, my stuff stocked, right? Because that's the surplus it's gonna maintain. Okay, we'll see how that works, but we're gonna sell them and hopefully make a little bit of dough. Okay, so other operations. Do we take some of the militia and go deal with the, the rebels? <laughs> the rebels, Scott. Yeah, because we have 43 bows, we have only 15 spears. Is this showing me the surplus I have? I'm not actually sure how that works. 36, yeah. And then for spears, we're importing. It says I only have 15 spears, but here I clearly have 25 spears. So it's kind of strange. Yeah, need more recruit seems right. Yeah, seems right to me. Could be wrong. All right, so now we need to get a manor set up too. We got the tavern. Um, are people drinking? Let's see. The the beer maker. Let's see what he's up to. The brewery. Oh, it's under construction. Okay, so we need to get that finished. Okay, so now we have a brewer. He is going to transport some goods, but he's sick. So probably, yeah, we have no berry bushes. They're not currently growing. Our food is really good. Um, here, did we get these upgraded? Not yet. Oh, boy, we need to get, get on that. Yeah, they're having to hustle out there. Do we not have the timber to finish them? I think we do. All right. So plots are coming along. Uh, we're going to sell some bows. I, I hope in the future they add some UI that you can really, like, see everything clearly. Like, okay, you have... Yeah, it'd be nice. Like, how much income you're making per trade cycle. Surplus stock. Stock not in use. Okay. So the surplus is your stock, which is not being used. Got it. Yeah, we'll see how it works out. Got a lot of old war bows. You can always switch to wood parts. All right, so are they brewing? Uh, he's crafting. Okay, so they're crafting beer. Good, good. So the barley import is paying off. I don't know. We can just upgrade that and add an herb garden there for now. There's actually nobody out there at the moment. There's no herbs, so it's kind of pointless having you guys on the forager hut. So we got two families doing nothing. Um, the wild game, is it being hunted? How many animals do we have? Only 10. We don't want to drive them to extinction, but honestly, food isn't really problematic. We need to get these finished up. Troy, thanks for becoming a channel member. Hopefully you're enjoying this haggard adventure with me, my friend. We're going to get further today because we're like fast forwarding a lot. So that's pretty fun. We got the carrots here. Um, we can upgrade you to the next level soon. All right, those bandits need to pay. We got to go over there and smash them. Generic storage full. It's just on the saw pit, so no problem. We got 26 planks there. Yeah, the lumber economy is uh, it's a booming. It's a booming. So we relocated here. The forester is going to plant trees. Uh, now, yeah, we need to get more fuel. Despite the charcoal, which I thought would be helping our fuel situation, it's not as helpful as you would think. I guess we have a lot of industry that's being fueled now as well. Odorous, hey! Yeah, this, this game's fun, dude. I'm, I'm having a blast with it. All right, so the deep mine, we are active. Let's get one more on the clay furnace to keep our clay economy booming. And are these finished out here? The logging camp is now done, so let's get two on logging. And uh, we need to get probably two on the woodcutter's lodge also. Yeah, because we need that fuel for winter. All right. Let me make sure I don't have any advance orders. Uh, yeah, clear work area. All right. Outstanding. Let's order another cow. 
and let's expand and expand. And we're gonna get a bunch of cows and kind of expand the stables here. All right. All right, yeah, I really hope they had multiplayer, I do. I'm 100% on the same boat. All right, so I think we have enough like residences here that we're chilling. A bandit camp was sighted, okay. So we have a bandit camp, which is across the entire map. How do the attack scale, by the way? Is the AI gonna step up their game? and like come with some harder armies or do I have to just put it on like the hardest difficulty? I was hesitant to do that today, but. Uh, all right, so the tavern is here. We have ale being distributed now. How much barley are we sitting on? Let's see. Okay, mercenaries are available, that's fine. We're trading. Um, fuel is dodgy actually. Are they not working here? Looks like they are. Is the charcoal kiln? Do I need to do something else with the charcoal? Is that part of the problem? Let's turn this off for now, just to be safe. And uh, we have the clothing stall, firewood stall, food stall here, clothing stall, food stall, firewood stall, has only five firewood. Hmm, should be a little bit more. I guess I could uh, assign an animal here. Uh, limit work area. Okay, disconnected from the road network. Is it? No, it looks like it's connected there Yeah, so they're pedaling. Okay, so they're they're taking it back. I think it's because my furnaces I have a lot of things that are um, That are going hard. So yeah, we need to maybe get another one here. I'm thinking We're gonna need more fuel as our as our empire kind of continues woodcutters lodge. Yeah, we'll just set you up right there All right Every person making charcoal doubles the value of each firewood so for now We'll have three. It'll be loads more efficient, but remember, you moved your firewood cutter. Yeah, I just moved it out here. The woodcutter's lodge. And I guess we get on the charcoal kiln in that case. It just seems like fuel is very low, despite me putting a three, three families on it. So I'm a little bit nervous about the winter, actually, because we're in September, and we might need to import some... Um... Can I even import that type of stuff? Okay. Permanent livestock assignment. Yeah, we should have more. The cows will rise. We're going to have more of them soon. Huh. Marketplaces are designated areas. Yeah, we got the marketplace here. Maybe I need a bigger marketplace. So let's uh, let's put one down here. That marketplace is looking crowded. I don't know if it actually matters, but we're going to kind of experiment here. All right, let's set that up. We got the old malt house. All right, great. So they are going to make barley. Uh, and yeah, they should be getting the food stall. Okay, three types of food. So we've suffered on the food department. The food stalls are plentiful, but simple. Yeah, we got carrots and eggs. I think we need to go for like orchards. Although this, we don't care about the tariffs that much. We got the deep mining. Um, forest management would be berries. Meat would give us passive meat nonstop which gives passive income of meat. Or we could do orchards. I think I'm gonna do the trapping since I do have wild animals up here. Cause that would give us passive goodies. I am down to nine gold, yeah. We need to probably stop importing the weapons. Let's see. How many spears do we have? Currently it says we have 14 spears. Maybe that's the excess we have, I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. Military, let's go ahead and uh, no trade. So we're gonna cut that one off to save a little bit of money. We are selling uh, roof tiles and bows. All right, we're at 85%. Fuel is, is really, really dodgy, actually. Hmm. Maybe make the first marketplace bigger. I don't mind having a second one down here. It's gonna supply these houses as well, so I think that's good. And we got 264 berries. So yeah, we have no drama with food whatsoever. A Little bit of ale in there too. So the tavern is functional now. It's functional. It's, it's haggard, but it's working. Yeah, you can see the ales being taken. Uh, the large storehouse, we have some boots and uh, people are being equipped. You had a downtime on the firewood moving and you're now, and now uh, it's being processed, so there will be a delay to get it up and running. But yeah, it, it should pick up here soon. I'm a hoping. It is further away too. It is further away as well. 88% approval. Um, yeah, it's gonna get a little scary here. A little scary. So the wealth, has diminished to an extent. The building for the manor, it's gonna be here. So what do we need? Yeah, we need to get our village a little bit bigger. So 
we should get that soon. The imports are going fine. We'll see what kind of uh, income we actually net here. Okay, firewood's being brought back, if I'm not mistaken. How much firewood are we sitting on? Currently showing surplus goods. Okay. Total goods stored. Okay, firewood was dropped off, I think. How much do we have here? Let's see. 32 planks and timber. Food stall, clothing stall, firewood stall. Yeah, we have eight right there. I guess we can capture it during the winter as well. No, I haven't bankrupted myself. I was actually very rich for a while. And then we started importing things and, uh, you know, got a little crazy, but a new family moved in. Excellent, excellent. So that's uh, another one in the crew. We're gonna get the woodcutter's lodge here. We're gonna slap another family down there. And these guys should all be working. Yeah, gathering, peddling, transporting, yeah. Okay, so the fuel situation should be remedied here in a moment. Yeah, we got another family moving in. Gotta love it, gotta love it. We got planks and timber, so let's update you. Get more of that sweet regional wealth each month. Each of these generates a little bit of regional wealth for you every month, which is cool. 96% approval rating. All right, all right, now we're doing it. The stalls are not active at the moment. I wonder what the benefits are to having more people in like the storehouses and stuff. I feel like just having one is fine. Uh, looks like we just broke even, give or take. Like I'd love to see how much I'm making and then how much I'm losing on trade. That would be a really, really helpful one. Uh, so September is coming and then winter and then we can we can set some fields up. So we need to start farming probably. This one had emmer and barley. Oh, man, barley would be nice. Barley would be nice, so I don't have to import that, but we don't really have any good barley spots. Although, hold on, we do have a little barley fertility here. So we can do like a little like haggard farm. Uh, hold on. I actually don't hate this idea, right? No, so yeah, it's like, it won't let me quite draw the points how I want them. All right, so we're just gonna do something like this then. Yeah, so that is going to be barley fertility. And then we need to get a farmhouse. So we'll rotate it um, and just have this be a barley situation. Okay, so we're going to need more lumber here in a second. Woodcutter's Lodge is doing it, so we got firewood turning in here. All right. Uh, village should be large enough for a manor. Yeah, we'll do it. Field is fallow, um, so we want to do the uh, barley is going to be the plan. Crop rotation, and we will do barley uh, second year. We're gonna fallow, and then we're gonna do barley again. So we're gonna harvest some barley here. And then we need to get a farmhouse on top of that to set it up next. So we'll have some some minor... No, well, the, 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 the fertility was very bad around everywhere else. Although, arguably, you know what? It's yellow, so it's not the worst. So let's maybe go bigger. I think you're right. So we can do a field here. So we're gonna do this. Uh, we're gonna go here and we're gonna do here. All right, so now we got a bigger field. We're gonna put it on barley um, and we're gonna fallow it right now. And then second year, we're gonna go ahead and do barley and then we're gonna fallow it again. Yeah, great. There we are. That's pretty cool. And we can get a farmhouse here next. So they're gonna work that. So we're gonna start getting some barley. And then we can do a, uh, a wheat field down here as well. Emmer, Emmer would be good. So we can set up like a big operation going. Um, this is a pretty nice little area here. Let's try this, let's try this, and let's try that. Okay, uh, we can't do it right now. And that, do we not have the wood? Maybe we don't have the resources, okay. I guess you need a little something something for that. So families will be kicking in. We're gonna get some farmers going. <laughs> he does, Christian, he does, yes. Uh, this tertiary market seems pretty much pointless. It, I mean, it, it seems like everybody's being supplied. The tavern is kicking. Uh, and we just need to get the food supply. Yeah, we need food diversity. It's tough, it's tough. Are they hunting right now? Yeah, we got the wild game being hunted. We got the chicken and we got carrots, although the carrots seem to be off, uh, yeah, this one has the food stall supply and this one does not have tavern supply, mm, yeah. Seeing a little bit of a problem there. Looks like we are netting some money, passively. Let's see more trade. And uh, we got the clay furnace and the infinite mining operation going. 
the fuel really is is looking dodgy, guys. It's looking really dodgy. The more people you have in the storehouse, the more efficiently you will send out goods. The more people will sell wares in the market. Got it. So it doesn't look like we're having any problem getting the. Oh yeah, that's probably true. We need another fire uh, to get the the firewood out there. Yeah. So they need to d distribute the goods, is what you're saying. Yeah, I see that. Okay. That makes a lot of sense to me. Thank you. 85% efficiency. So we need to get them out to the goods, yes. And even still, the field is fallow right now, and the farmhouse will get built eventually. We're not really urgent on that one. Charcoal kiln, how much charcoal are we rocking? So it should be in the large storehouse, right? Or is it getting sent to uh, sent somewhere else? Not sure. Let's take it off here for now. Have you guys build a little bit. The more people you have in the storehouses, the more efficiently you send out goods, the more people will sell wares in the market. Granary works the same way. Yeah, I don't think I've had a problem with the food as much, but we will definitely um, gear that out soon. Okay, sop it. Should still be going. Um, making planks. I think we can calm down in the plank department. And we can put another one in the old granary. So we're going to try gearing those out. Not oh, bandits. Okay. I think we got to go crush them, but not, not in the winter, probably. I'm sure there's penalties. So we got 29 fully geared out militias. We'll be getting our Lord's Manor soon, but we need to reach the next threshold of town. Which uh, hopefully we will shortly. Hey, so we got a little bit of money. Looking great. Church is going. The tavern is going uh, all right. Yeah, we lost a little bit there, but it's okay because we're getting barley. Our population is growing rapidly. Uh, as far as timber goes, we do have nine, so we can go ahead and do this. And we can have some of these workers, let's see, so they are, yeah, these they're all having their needs met now. Good. So everybody more or less is having their needs met, except this house on the far end. They just get neglected. You know, they're the last one to get all the goods. Sucks to be you guys, man. Residential. Hmm, that is, we don't want it over there. I think we could do, they'd have to clear some trees out here, which is a little dodgy. Uh, we could even like lumberjack over there. These guys seem to be doing okay at the lumber camps. The fuel really, really is not increasing. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous about that. So let me read the charcoal thing. So charcoal kilns convert two, one firewood into two charcoal, making fuel, refueling. Oh, so that's refueling. That's is that that's probably for my more industrial buildings, not so much for like house burning fire in the houses, right? Yeah, where the hell are the bandits? They've been really lazy. I'm going to go fight this one here after the winter's over. Okay, we just made 160 from selling tiles, and we have the excess bows there. Hmm. Opponent should have paid more men. You should have, dude. You should have. The Fletcher is paused. Yeah, we're not making more bows at the moment, I don't believe. Yeah, I think we have enough bows to supply everybody. Yeah, but we are selling the excess ones, which I suppose isn't a bad thing. Try assigning an ox. I think I'm going to do that. Let's see if I have any extra oxen I can order. Yeah, let's get another ox. And um, let's assign you to this one. Although this was the one that's like very geared out. Oh, uh, we cannot assign an ox to this. We cannot. No. There's 15 firewood here too. Um, that should be a good amount, right? Let's get you on the lumber camp. Get you guys fully geared out. We got four on fuel. And there actually is a lot of firewood sitting out there. It's just... Not being brought back quick enough, I guess. I'm not sure. I am not sure. Trade. Eh, let's tune it down. Eh, maybe keep you on trade. I think it's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm nervous about it. I feel like we might suffer in the winter. This house is being built up. So we'll assign somebody to the farmhouse uh, in the spring. Fuel is still... It's staying steady at two months. Um... Additionally, some workspaces consume fuel, one fuel per month as well. I think it could be our clay furnace, which is needing to be refueled. I think it's the clay furnace, but I mean, we are amping up our wood cutting operation pretty heavily. So let's go three and three. We're just gonna go six on fuel to try and get through winter here. Ox is storage to haul that. The ox is important for the fields. Got it. All right, so the granary. Uh, we cannot assign an ox to this, as far as I can tell. The large storehouse, we cannot assign an ox to that either. The goods are being distributed a little bit more efficiently now. So I can see as the game scales up, you need to be on top of that. Maybe we need to get some, like, ox handlers. 
It's important for the fields, yeah. So for farming, we probably want to get the oxen tech, right? Which is the heavy plow. Enables employing an oxen of the farmhouse significantly faster plowing of the fields and bringing crops back and forth to storage more efficiently. Yeah, so we'll definitely assign someone to the fields here and then we can stop importing barley, which will be nice. Yes, that'll be really, really good. All right, so as far as this goes, I mean, we have six on the fuel right now. Yeah, they're, they're hustling, dude. They're going. They're dropping off what they can. The firewood stall. Yeah, we got 12 right there. And then we have another two right here. Okay, so yeah, I think we're going through it at the clay furnace. The plow is not very good, you said? Uh, why do you say that? I'd be curious to hear your opinion. Yeah, the booze is, is going. So family should still be growing here. We're pretty okay on timber. But we don't have anybody to build right now, so we need to get more families in. Should be growing shortly. Farmhouse not going. Um, let's cut you off here. We have another stall. We do have a malt house there. Running out of fuel. See, yeah, we're running out of fuel. This is bad. We're probably gonna we're probably gonna freeze in the winter. So I think we have to halt our operation here. Yeah, I think we need to do that. And um, the malt house can, can carry on. We're gonna kinda stop trading for a moment too, and then let's get you here. Now what is killing our fuel situation so badly? I just don't, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, trade, they'll continue trading until they run out, which is fine. It's faster to have eight workers. Yeah, I mean, we got a lot. We got six here. And we got another six here. The fuel is still, I think it's, it must be the clay furnace, right? Because this thing consumes a lot of fuel, I'm guessing. You can set a, a fuel reserve on the clay tile. Yeah, that's true, I can. But I'm just gonna cut it off for now because winter is like literally here and I have one month of fuel supply, so that's really bad. I don't even know what this charcoal thing's been doing, by the way. Uh, yeah, let's put like two of you guys on here. See if that helps. All right, so we can build our fuel reserves back up, maybe. That would be really haggard. Yeah, I don't know. So not the settlement needs more food or fuel. Yeah, I see that. Winter is gonna come to do us dirty. What can I even import that would help? I mean, nothing really. Blocks, food, yeah, we might just die here because for some godforsaken reason, get foresters to make the trees uh, to chop on top of the, I mean, he's literally just chopping right here. It's, it's really close quarters. It's really close quarters. Uh, and I think what we can do out of like necessity is we can set up a, um, we can set up another road here. Let's do this. Let's do that. And then we can build another one of these and just do a firewood lodge, I guess. Another one. Get you guys to do that. Go build this. And we'll make this the highest priority. And we'll just try and get through the winter. I have no idea how this is going to go. They should be bringing back the old firewood now, though. Okay, so that's being built up. Generic storage is full. That's just the saw pit. Yeah, we don't really care about that. We're just going to go all in on trying to get the uh, firewood. May the ale flow. The ale's flowing, but I don't know what's consuming this. If there was like a drop down that said like, oh, this is where your fuel's going, that would be really useful because I honestly have no idea. The firewood stall, yeah, we have you guys. So this is where we would be distributing planks and firewood. So let's get you guys in there to distribute those goods. We have 32 firewood, right? So I guess we just need to distribute the goods a little bit quicker. Um, and the Fletcher shop is currently uh, paused. So we don't really need more bows anyways. Oh, that does destroy the whole house. Okay, that's fine. We'll just remake a new one. Now we have a homeless problem. Lovely. No, we don't. We have enough people. They can just move into another house. I was going to destroy that and make a... Okay, it's fine. Can we not build that there? Pretty sure. It's probably because that wood's there. We have extra houses up here anyways. Okay. So now we got two months of fuel. Okay. It's about to turn into frost punk right here. It is. It really is. But we have fuel surplus now coming in. The six on the woodcutters are doing it. Yeah, the 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 bow the bowery was using our fuel too. No, that was just the house, I think. Let me see, let me check. Yeah, that was just the house, straight up. Because each house, the houses use fuel too, so we are going to need a lot. So we got the charcoal online. Um, the woodcutters camp, we're going to go ahead and get three on there right now to make sure we don't like die here. 
And all right, I think we're gonna be okay. It's gonna be a little dodgy. Uh, we're trading some roof tiles right now. You can see money's coming in, money's going out. You see how much it said I'm paying and selling? I wish it would show that. That would be really nice. That'd be really, really useful. So after winter, we can start on the um, crop rotation triggers after the harvest season ends. Yeah. So then we're going to get barley next year. Okay, we got families joining. We got a lot of people on the woodcutters. <laughs> we're, fuel we're, we're, we're desperately fueling our, our old empire here. Uh, we need to actually keep you guys probably building. Yep, and let's uh, rebuild that house there that we screwed up because I'm a potato. Do this, this, and this. Uh, won't let me build it. I think it's because there's supplies in the middle there. All right, so let's go ahead and set up some more houses here, just like a little kind of housing operation. Yeah, we could do like a really janky one there, I suppose, but no, not very good. All right, uh, we could do one over here, but that's close to the tannery, which we don't want to mess with. Um, we could do another, uh, it's a marketplace down there. And um, I guess we can expand here, here, and here. We'll do some smaller houses. It's fine. Can't find, uh, okay. So I just got a notification. Let's see what that said. Cannot find storehouse for excess weapon storage. Burgrave plot one. Because the storehouse has got plenty of space. The granary is... Oh, we have a lot of ale, too, actually. That's nice. So, I think we're good. Yeah, most of the requirements are met to go to the next tier. The tavern supply is hit and miss. We definitely need to get more in the granary to deliver the tavern. So, now they're... They should be getting all the goods to the market. Yeah, they should. We'll see. Uh, yeah, the better trade deals one isn't bad. The tariffs... We haven't leveled up, though. We're still a little ways away. The tech tree, obviously, seems to still be in early access. Saw pit is fine. A new family moved in. Outstanding. We're at 86% approval. Okay, we got five months of fuel now. So we're in December. I think we're going to survive winter. So I can probably take the panic off a little bit and maybe take three of them off here and just have six. Because uh, we discovered what the issue was. We do need to get the clay operation up and running, though. I'm thinking maybe we actually stay hard on that and then use that to fuel our industry like get our clay furnace just like super erect yeah that could be actually a fun idea let's see how much money we can make off that because the clay seems really good okay are we still importing spears let's see what our militia look like um the militia are ready to go basically we just need a little bit more population and then the militia will be ready and then we're gonna have full two uh two full militia units Okay, so storage is full. The woodcutters are full right now. Yeah, so we need to take you guys off. Um, let's just leave one here to transport the goods. And uh, yeah, it seems as if they're full. So hopefully we can get more ox to go help with the timber and stuff. Yeah, it seems fine. Not enough wealth right now, as expected. Yeah, scaling your... This is like a whole other beast, right? Scaling your uh, your eco. What do we have that we could sell? We have some stone, we have some barley, but obviously we're trading for that food. Berries do go for a decent amount, but I don't want to get rid of food surplus. Hides, we have some hides from our goats, and we have a lot of firewood now. <laughs> could become the fire lord over here. We got plenty of shoes. Uh, war bows are numerous, and we do have large shields, so we can go ahead and, uh, man, we don't have enough to do that, so build that storage on the side of town. Yeah, we could build another storage unit over there. I don't think that's a bad idea. Just like set one up over here. All right, so let's go to logistics. Let's do a storehouse. So we'll do that right there. So they'll build that and then I'll assign one person to that and that will hopefully be helpful here. All right, build it on up people. You can see the oxes are coming to get the goods. We're not getting any timber right now. We'll probably get at least one timber on. We're in the heart of winter, and we have 11 and 6. So you can see we were able to recover from that haggardness pretty quick. It was still very dodgy. We have a new set of houses coming. Uh, where can we get wells? Do we have any well water out here? We do. Nice. So we're able to get the well. All right. Saves the villagers walking distance. Yeah, I think I'm going to get another storehouse out here. You can see how like all the logistical stuff, kind of like what you see in Age of Empires, becomes, uh, becomes more prevalent. Resources. All right, bandits. As soon as winter's over, the elector counts are going to go stomp these stupid bandits. Where are they in the middle? Okay. 
Apparently, I did. Tr I believe I had it so an enemy ruler would attack, but maybe, maybe I screwed that up. But we'll have to see. I don't think I can like change the settings mid game. No, I don't think so. Gameplay. Yeah, because are the bandits ever gonna muster a big enough army to threaten me, or is it just always gonna be a potato squad? All right, so woodcutters. That's being built up. Family joining. So we're on turbo speed mode. The manor is uh. Yeah, I just need to get planks, so we just need to get through winter, basically, and then, um, hopefully that finishes. The large storehouse has tons of room, tons of room, and they're going to be taking the goods out to the stalls as they get it. You can see they, they yeah, the charcoal is being sent off really quickly. And this one is almost done here. All right, so it's assigned one here. Great. So I think we're okay on the fuel department for now. Yeah, I think we can we can kind of cut down on you guys and calm down and stop panicking. We could also get a forester, so let's get the forester. I'm pretty sure we had one too. Get those planks back online. So Sawpit's gonna start making stuff. The joiner shop is still making shields, probably. Um, so let's go to the joiner shop. Yeah, we're gonna want to do something with that. The large shields we 100% have an excess. Uh, you can go conquer. Let's see. Uh, battles get up to 600 units. Yeah, that's going to be nice to, for sure, get the better deals. I don't think we're, we're quite there yet. A new family moved in. Mercenary companies available. Winter is almost over. We're in January here. So we got that. And then the furnace. Uh, we wanted to get the clay furnace back online. So let's get two people in there. It's going to start taxing our fuel, but I think we're okay. We can, like, juggle that as needed. And then we can start making that big money again. Uh, we're going to need some families to assign to the farmhouse, too. Um, so logging camp, I think it's fine. Just one and one here. No problem. We got some goods being stored in that storehouse. And we can do a little road to connect so they can, like, resupply those back areas. I think it's going to be nice. And we can even set up some houses here on the backside. All right. So we're golden. And, uh... Yeah, hunting. Yeah, we don't want to hunt the wild animals to extinction. We're going to get our barley fields going. And also, I did want to get um, the wheat fields down here. I did want to get the wheat fields. So let's see if we can do a little something something here. Now, why can we not do that? Is it because we don't have wood? It could be a wood issue. That's what she said. But, I mean, wood... Our food diversity is okay. Between the carrots and the eggs and stuff. Yeah, it's only berries right now, is it? Oh. Is it only that? A firewood food stall? Let's see what this other food stall has. Yeah, we got tons of eggs and carrots and stuff. We might need more carrots. We might need to do like a big carrot operation. We might need to. Uh, build your major and squeeze. You can now even if it says requirements haven't been met. Really? I can build it even without the requirements? Uh, road access. Not enough goods. Yeah, so we need the planks right now. Got it. So it says I can, I can, I can make it. Okay. Saw pit is going, so that's going to get us our planks. Uh, we need to stop the, bow, uh, the bows from making the fletchery. Oh, I think I accidentally deleted that earlier, so we're okay. And now we can set up a uh, house here, too. It's supposed to be there. Great. So that will replace that. Um, let's get our timber. We got fuel for friggin' eight months. So we can probably just kind of abandon this situation. Let's do this. Uh, I believe we still have three of them going. We had one. Let's cut you off. Do this. And we can do this. And we can just put you guys on the lumber camp now. Charcoal kiln. We can calm down. We don't need that as much. We need to be ready to work the farms here. So as soon as the spring comes, we're going we're gonna to hit the farms hard. Stone Cutter camp. We have no need for that. Better now or next year. Large shields uh, using up planks. They are. Yeah. So the cobbler shop is making shoes, which is fine. We need to keep our people provided with shoes. And this is the joiner shop, which is uh, going to be paused for now. All right. So that's going to save planks. We got a lot of family members coming to party. We have a nice little storehouse across the ways. The malt house is cooking. And uh, soon we will get our, uh, our goods. Yeah, farmhouse. Heavy plow. We're going to put like three or four families on this and see how effective it can be at working the field. I'm pretty excited for this. This is my first time to... So, sorry, yeah, we're up to seven planks already. It's going quickly. 
storehouse here is storing, uh, oh, roof tiles. Okay, so they're coming out here to get the goods. Yeah, nice. Nice having another storehouse here. Helps the supply. We actually have some market stalls down here too. We got a clothing stall. That's cool. So supplying different parts. Uh, we fixed the fuel issue. We basically just went, like, we put nine on fuel. We went really, really hard on that. Because we were getting to winter and it was like looking like we were going to suffer. Uh, trade now. Yeah, we're trading the roof tiles again. I don't know if the raid the raids go down. Okay, so we got another ma family member. They're not doing a whole lot, but we can get them on. Um, let's see. So the deep mine here. We got forty three clay. Can I assign a livestock here? It does not look like it. Okay. So let's go three on the clay pit, and then we got three on the clay furnace. So that should give us a pretty booming clay economy, right? It should. Uh, let's order another cow. It's gonna use what little wealth we do have. And somebody's gonna come and buy our clay here? What are they buying? Did he buy anything? I saw some trader just leave. Hm, not sure. Hey, thank you, Sage. Appreciate it, man. You can go for more fields with one farmhouse? Yeah. Oh, the thing is, fertility is an issue. Ah, bandits have stole some, uh, some pelts, have you? So, we have the farming situation. Yeah, so fields, we have barley here. Um, I actually have pretty good fertility over here. I mean, I could clear this out. Yeah, so we can do this, this, and this. And then that's going to be... Where's the farmhouse? The farmhouse is... Losing track of things here. Yeah, the farmhouse is over there. So we probably end up needing another farmhouse for the wheat. Um, maybe we just do it here. Do it. This is the iron, which we have a little bit of, so we can kind of do something, something. So that can be an emmer, like wheat operation. Let's go ahead and get a farmhouse here. So where's the farmhouse? We'll do that there. Great. All right, so they're going to get built up, and hopefully we'll be able to get two farming operations going here. Yeah, we're, lear we're learning. It's much better visually, yes. Not, I'm, I'm, I, I do have some learning abilities. Uh, so the deep mine, we got 43 clay right there. We're going to be the clay pimp, basically. This family owns market stall. If unassigned, the market will have to be taken over by somebody else. Yeah. Uh, let's put another family on trade. Do we really need to? I think we're okay. We, I'd rather actually get these built up. So timber is coming along nicely. Fuel is not going in the negative. And um, let's go ahead and do this. Let's get you in the farmhouse. If the seal is set to fallow, the workers will plow it and sow the crops as soon as po possible. It is not set to fallow. It is set to fallow right now, so there's no point. Um, because when the spring happens, it's going to switch to barley. 100 approval! Oh, yeah. Look at that, baby. Let's go. OP. OP. Eventually, we're going to start getting the iron again, and we're going to um, start getting some, you know, quality plated militia and stuff. It's going to be pretty fun. Some spearmen with plate. And we'll, of course, get our lovely um, a manor. Manor. All right, so the manor is going to be on the edge of the village where we would maybe be attacked. I can't be walking amongst the peasants. Um, so we need to make sure our manor is... Hmm. All right, so... It is almost time. Yeah, we're in March, so spring is when it's going to come. If I'm not mistaken. We have our trading post here. And um, where do we want to make our manor? I think just like right here, but being next to the tannery is kind of, you know, not ideal. We also do get attacked from the north up here quite a bit, or at least once. We need to leave some room to, like, do stuff. Uh, this this is not ideal. Yeah, this is going to go up as a video. It will. Uh, 25, 20 planks over here and stone as well. Let's get that other farm online first. Yeah, so this one is going to be... Um, we're going to put it in fallow, and then we're going to do crop rotation, then we're going to go wheat, and then we're going to go uh, fallow from there. Yeah, just kind of alternate between the two harvests. Uh, I'll walk around in third person here soon. Yeah, I will. Hmm. Out here is not a bad idea. Kind of off the beaten path a little bit. You know, we get to be some, some troll in the woods. There is a bandit camp middle. I assume that's where they might attack from, and this is like a pathway into our land, so... Let's do this. All right, yeah, like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and set up a, uh, a tax office. 
which we'll just do like right next to it. Okay, and then we can set up an outer tower. Provides 10 garrison space. Garrison units shoot projectiles. We'll set up a tower along the road. And, oh, that's cool. So I can like set up towers. And then we can do like walls and gates. It's kind of fun. Uh, that's going to cost a bit of construction. I think we're okay here, though. So we're going to set that up. Let's get roads coming out to connect. Great. So we got the roads connecting. So the manor will get built eventually. And uh, did the farmhouse get built? Almost. Great. Okay, so spring is coming. Yeah, I'm going to attack the bandit camp. It, it's it's a big thing because it does slow your economy pretty hard when you do that. Um, but it's still worth, probably. So we're going to put two people on that farm. Two families. And um, we will also get uh, two families on this one. Maybe just one family on this one for now. And we'll, as more families come to our empire, we will uh, we will do it. Nine timber. Okay, so it's on fallow. So they're going to get to work here. Let me... Yeah. It's time, dude. Way out there. It will never be placed, like, f far out there to the left of the manor. Way out there. I think it's going to get placed. Yeah, they're going to start building it. They're just working on other things. I only have two builders right now, so... Uh, and the people, yeah, we need to go to the farmhouse. They're probably waiting, right? Yeah, they're waiting. Okay, so that was, we need to wait till it's actually harvesting season. There's still snow on the ground. All right, so that farm, it's getting there. We're going to need a little bit. How are we doing on growth? Uh, high population growth. Wow, I'm actually not doing terribly, even though I feel like I am. Okay, so up here we can do a little uh, setup. Let's get some more houses. Up in the north here. We'll do like a... Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's going to fit super well. And the villages out here. This would be a pretty far journey to any of the near marketplaces. Granted, um, you know, these could, this is where the the lumberjacks and their families can live, I suppose. Here, here, and here. Yeah, we need wood. Okay, we don't have enough wood. Got it. It'll tell us when we're supply capped anyways. It'll let us know. So the wealth is not not kicking in like it used to we are exporting roof tiles he's coming albeit very slowly the exchange rate's still pretty good how are you getting so much wealth um i'm trading uh tiles okay so that farmhouse is done now too and this field is set to fallow it should switch soon though it should switch um in harvesting season need to lumberjack some space i know we do Probably not a bad idea to just move the lumberjack operation up here. Although, you know, the berries are growing now, and I do want to have access to those. Um, we have a lot of expanse out here that we could do. So maybe we relocate them elsewhere. Okay, still set in fallow. So the new harvesting season hasn't started. You can see the manor is being built. Now, why are we losing money here? Oh, it's because of the barley imports. We're spending most of our money to import barley. Hmm, that's, that's, that makes sense. All right, so logging camp. We're going to set up a new residential situation out here. So let's uh, relocate this. We're going to do it like right here. So they're going to go do it. We have 24 logs here. Hopefully somebody will grab those. And we can um, go ahead and cut you guys off and then relocate you guys up here too. And then we're going to set up a new residential project out here. So we just need to do this. Do that. Um, how's the well situation out here? Do we have good well water? We do. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We got a well right there. That is perfect. Okay. There's also a storehouse here, which is going to be able to distribute supplies to those people. So that's good. Or actively live, uh, live in the houses. You can set it so that all the lumberjacks actually live in the houses. Okay, that's pretty min-max. It seems pretty good. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just going to relocate those. And we have 11 workers who should be getting to work building things. The uh, Lord's Manor is... Progress is happening. Field is still set to fallow. Yeah, they would they would just be waiting for the for the season if I put them in there. It's kind of cool. So you have them work the fields, you know, and then uh, they go do other things. They go do other things. Granary up here. We could set up a granary. Although the granary here is is kind of centralized. It's not too bad. We have plenty of space in it. Plenty of space. We got we don't need four families in there. I don't think. I think that's enough. Uh, three in there is probably fine for distributing. Don't forget to reseed your logging areas. It helps two logging areas. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we do have a for, we had a forester somewhere. 
Uh, I, I think it got relocated or something. Ah, is it time? No, it's not time. I'm really excited for the farming thing. That's going to be fun. So we're rebuilding all this. Yeah, you can see the logging camp's going to get relocated. And um, they're grabbing the supplies that I left on the ground, too. And then we'll set up our, uh, our lovely new housing network out here. Should be great, man. Should be great. You have to change it from fallow, then they'll start. Uh, doesn't it automatically go? When, when am I able to switch the crops? We have a market nearby. It's not that far. It's right down here. So I would probably just set up a little road across. And then they're going to be able to get to that market. Um, I thought it does it in like April or, April or May. Do I need to manually switch it to harvesting season now? Let's see. Second year. Crop rotation triggers after this harvest season ends. So do I need to switch it manually right now? This is a new save. So do I switch it now? I'm not sure. Yeah, you guys let me know. I would appreciate the tips. So it'll be a while, I guess. I mean, the field I could switch now, right? You have the first year set as fallow, I think. Okay, so maybe I need to just switch it now? It should be crop, fallow, crop, fallow. Okay, so let's do barley. Let's do fallow, and then we do barley. And then let's go ahead and assign some people here and see how this goes. No idea. Let's put four families on that. Let's get some booze, boys. One, two, three, four. And we're going to go ahead and go wheat and fallow. It's just an experiment. Yeah, they should get to work on the farms now. And put eight in it. Great. I do want to gather some wheat, although, yeah, maybe that's going to be enough. I don't know. All right, they're going to plow. Here we go, baby. Here we go. So we got four families chilling out. The woodcutters are all ready. Our triple woodcutter. Uh, fuel is going to become precarious, so we want to keep, like, a passive income of fuel. Probably. The Lord's Manor is uh, just about done, I believe. My, my manor in the bushes. Yes. And then we wanted to go ahead and get our new housing network here, which we should be able to get, so. Ah, but there's still some, some stuff in the way. Okay, no problem. That's 12. Okay, so we're going to need some uh, lumber here. Nope. Uh, let's close that. And then we probably just go two on lumber and have at least one person build. So some of the houses aren't having their needs met. The food stall supply. So I need to do the granary. Like, sauced up more, right? And the tavern is still supplying beer. Trading post is generating wealth. Yeah, the clay the clay situation is pretty savage. We're making a lot. Uh, do we have any, like, block ups here? I think we have, yeah, one extra here. So let's get the granary, like, fully active so they're distributing food more effectively. Okay, so now we can collect taxes based on our wealth. So, here's the open castle planner. Uh, how can we name its name? Or rechange its name? Okay. Got it. Uh, rename it. How do we rename this? There's got to be a spot to do it. Well, we'll figure that out eventually. Oh, boy. They don't like that land tax. How about the tithe? Yeah, you guys like the, you like, like getting tithed by the Jesus, huh? Uh, we could probably afford to tax a little bit, right? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's let's tax. So that's going to turn wealth into a treasury. And we're going to see if that works. Okay. It's going to lower our status a little bit, but they should get busy. Let's see what the people are up to. They're all waiting. Requires refueling, maybe. Okay, well, hopefully it'll get there soon. Looking at the livestock, yeah. That's our livestock here. We're not really doing pastures. Uh, the farms are being worked now. Okay, so plowing, sowing, and crop growth. Okay, and yeah, you can see here they're sowing here. Cool, very cool. Okay, so logging camp is back online. Uh, we have 16 timber now, so we can officially uh, set up our more more houses here. Great, and let's go ahead and rotate that. And we can just have this be like a. A lot of houses there. It's gonna take a while, but I think we don't have any drama with the uh, no population growth. Yeah, so we need to expand here. 
Actually, we do. All right, so let's cut you guys off logging camps and have you build the houses. Hey, Blackwater, thank you for the kind words. The game is really fun. Um, I haven't really gotten to Endgame yet, so I'm not, like, sure. Okay, Bandits, yeah. I've had enough of this. Uh, I wonder if my retinue... I have 36 archers, um, and I have the shields fully operational. Huh. I wonder if my retinue could handle it. We're not... The taxes, I don't know how long they take to kick in, but maybe eventually. Refueled. Uh, these are just, like, servants, so they're not residing families. Yeah, okay. The taxes, I don't know when they go into effect. You also have policies near the tech tree? Okay. All right. So we got policies. Wild animals and rich deposits breed twice as fast. Citizens skip every fifth meal. Reduces food construction, decreases approval. <laughs> Jesus. Locked in early access. So we only have one, which is going to be wild animals and rich deposits breed twice as fast. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we don't really have too many choices there. So it's basically it's just that or we starve our people a little bit. Uh, how's the hunting camp looking here? Yeah, it's still at 10. We still have one guy here. Uh, yeah, he can stay there. It's fine. It's going to breed twice as fast. Okay, so some of the houses are not happy. I guess the food is not super diverse, maybe. Like, why is our food stall... Why are they empty? Is the granary just being lazy? I mean, I'm fully... There's 133 berries here. What are they doing? Okay, transporting. Looks like uh, he is sick. Classic. Let's go ahead and get one of you guys here. Um, we can get some berries. Yeah, it seems like we're having some issues with like keeping the stock. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so on the other side, we got houses coming up across the board. That's going to speed things along. The clay pit is still fully operational. That's how we're generating our wealth. I don't know if taxing's bugged, but it just straight up doesn't seem to be working. We're not accruing any wealth. Uh, or any treasury, because that's how it's supposed to work, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, these bots are not happy. What are they missing? Food stall supply? Yeah. The carrot overlords and the egg overlords need to be a little bit more effective here. We're going to definitely just go like bananas with the, uh, the egg situation here. And we can set up a, um, a granary. So let's do logistics. Let's set up another granary on this side of town. We don't have enough stone, is it? We don't have enough wood right now. Okay. So when these houses are done, we're going to switch back on to triple wood. All right. Great. There they go. So now we can get more people moving in. That's fine. This plot, I think we have enough. We can just go ahead and demolish this for now. And then we can get the granary here. Okay. So let's get the granary. We have our extra marketplace over here. And we can go ahead and build a little market front over this way. Not like a big one, but just a little something something. Just for a couple stalls. We'll get that granary popping. And pull this off. We have the woodcutter going. Yeah, fuel is starting to diminish again, so. We'll see how effective the fields are. Yeah, so crop is growing now. And then it's harvesting time. Tax is a monthly thing. I think tithing takes your food, so it would reduce your overall by 10%. The policy is really bad for you. It messes up farming. Which one is? This policy? Hunting grounds? Oh, God, I didn't notice that. Oh, it reduces the yield of crops? Oh, wow, I did not notice that. Okay, thank you. I didn't read the last part. Jesus. Like, these policies kind of aren't good. Citizen skip reduces food consumption, but decreases approval? I mean, I don't think I want to do either of those policies, to be fair. I don't think I do. So, next settlement, small town. We need to get Burgrave level 3 plots. Okay, so we need to upgrade some plots. Uh, requirements not met. Yeah, the food stall supply, so we need to get more food diversity. So, when the hunters get back on, yeah, we got this. I mean, we're going to have wheat. We should have, like, a shit ton of eggs, too, right? We have 384 wealth. We got chickens here. Chickens and chickens. These are, these are going to get moved into, right? So let's get the uh, chicken coop. No more games, brothers. No more games. We're going to go in and just be the Dark Lord of Chickens. Going to make Sandor Clegane proud. Hey, I made some tax money. Okay, so it did work. The approval rating dropped a lot. <laughs> it dropped a hell of a lot. 
All right. So what houses, can we tell if they're fully satisfied or not? Yeah, three types of food at the food stall. The carrots should be in season and then we can upgrade some houses. And the fields are growing and growing. So let's assign a couple more families to these fields, I guess. Do like two. I'm kind of curious what that's gonna look like. So let's see. So we got a lot on those farms. And when the farming season is off, we can pull them off and they can do something else, right? Uh, do I summon the Elector Counts and go smash some villagers? Not villagers, <laughs> excuse me. Getting a little crazy there. So chickens, and um, we wanna do like a big carrot, a big carrot farm here. So we'll do like a huge, huge plot. That's gonna be 18. Okay, we should be able to get that going soon. What is consuming our planks right now? So yeah, the, the wheat field is going. What are they doing here? Okay, so when the crops grow, they're gonna be needed to, they're gonna be needed to, because they're not doing anything now, right? The crops are just gonna grow on their own. So they're just waiting. Okay, so we can, we need to manually check in. So I'll take you guys off for now. I guess we just leave one just to be safe because the crops will grow on their own accord, right? They're useless, they're useless when it's growing. Okay. So we need to be like juggling that a little bit. I like that, I like that, it's pretty fun. All right, so we're just gonna use them to build things up. And um, we got the lumber camp going, right? We need to get a forester over here if we can, so let's get a uh, forester here. Uh, where is he? Forester's hut, yes. Pretty sure I had one, but I think I deleted it earlier, so it's fine. Granary, we'll get somebody in here to collect some food. And uh, we can set up a little market stall if need be. I know we have the Haggard Marketplace over here. The unlimited chickens, yeah. I mean, I guess we just go apeshit with the chickens. We're gonna have this be the chicken plot, dude. Our people will never want for eggs. Zinch chickens, yes. Okay, new families are moving in. Crops are growing. Crops are growing, all right, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. The kielbasa is rising. Uh, policies available. Screw your bad policies. I don't need them. Definitely gonna need some uh, food variants here. The granary is like, yeah, we got eggs, we got beer, and we do not have hunted meat right now. I'm tempted to just hunt the animals and get the... Uh... We could also import a little bit. So let's just import so we can tech up. I feel like I've been stuck here for like 10 years. So what's the cheapest food to import? Um, vegetables, apples or two. We have carrots, we have eggs. Honey, honey could be fun. We could also just import some meat. So let's import meat. And um, we can set up a trade route, because why the hell not? And we're just gonna do that so we have a you know surplus of 10 or whatever, sure. All right, so we're gonna import some meat and that will hopefully uh, get things moving again. It's almost harvesting season, right? Yeah, the tree line's getting karate chopped, it really is. Okay, let's get the forester's hut. And they can just uh, limit the work area to like right here. Great, so that should keep the, the lumber operation reasonable. Let's get these guys. Uh, logging camp is going, woodcutter's lodge is going. All right, and then the charcoal operation should help keep our fuel a little bit more efficient. So will they auto will they automatically, yeah, let's see, estimated days, days left to harvest, okay. Yeah, we had a battle. We had a battle, it was very easy though. I'm, I'm, I want to fight bigger battles, but I don't know. We picked the one where we're supposed to survive and get like a large city. Um, current settlement level, large village. And then we go small town. We could go here and smash these guys with our retinue. Now that we have a little bit of money, we could always upgrade them too. Um, let's go to our retinue, do this. Customize them. How much does it cost to buy more? 50? We could send our men at arms over. So we just upgraded the retinue. These are professional soldiers that won't affect my economy. So let's uh, let's rally them. Let's go see if they can solo. So the professional soldiers are gonna march out. I'm just gonna send an elite warband here and see if they can uh, handle it. So we're gonna have them walk and we're gonna walk them across to take down this uh, bandit camp, which is where. So I could have sworn there was one, let's see. I know there's policies, but they're not helpful. We got berries, we got um, you guys over here. 
And if I want to claim a territory, I, I need a lot more, I think. Wasn't there a bandit tent somewhere around here? Imagine they'll get more difficult over time. I hope so. I hope so. I hope we get like a big army appearing. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think we could take this. So we're going to walk there with our retinue and, and just see if they can take it on. There's only seven of them, but I don't know. They're, they're like professional soldiers, I'm hoping. We got the chicken operation. The granary is going to be filled. We got the beer. Resources stolen by bandits. Yeah, it's time, dude. They have to pay the price. We have a lot of berries. We have 126 eggs and berries, so we just need to get more food variants. And currently, we got 30 timbers, so let's go ahead and set up a big housing operation here. And this is going to be for carrots. So we're going to make this like a huge carrot farm. I can see how that can be really strong. Okay, and we rotate it so the houses are on the correct side. All right, so that is gonna build. Let's get that build in. And then that's gonna be a massive carrot farm, which we'll see if it works. How many days do I have? 20 days? Send the troops to another area. Uh, yeah, I don't wanna send my infantry, the rest of my units, because the problem is they will um, stop working. And I think my retinue can handle it by themselves. We're gonna find out. These are like my professional soldiers, so time will tell. Okay, the tavern supply, yeah, should be back online here. We they have plenty of barley, right? We got the clay furnace working pretty hard. So let's get you and you. And let's go to the, the, the clay pit and just get that maxed out also. So that's gonna fully optimize our clay economy uh, as, as far as what we have. And then for you guys, we wanna get probably a couple more woodcutters to handle the extra fuel needs. And um, aside from this, yeah, we have our stables. Let's order another ox. Uh, tavern is going, but I don't know if they're distributing it enough. That's going to be pretty savage. So maybe let's go down here. And we maybe... Do we need another brewery? I don't know. Just in case, let's make another brewery. Let's see if we run out. Okay, so up you go. There's 16 brigands coming to meet us in battle. Pretty sure we can beat them. You guys ready? We're gonna we're gonna watch this fight. Only 16 though. Alright, here it goes. So we got our retinue. These are professional soldiers, and they have like plate armor and they come with good equipment, like pole arms and shit. These are just like peasants basically. Alright, so we're gonna go like aggressive stance, push forward, and see how they do. Okay, we've already killed two of them, it looks like. They are fighting a better effectiveness. I wonder why. So cohesion and fatigue. So cohesion, yeah. One of them is retreating. Okay, our retinue is getting pushed back. We've lost. We've lost one of our professional soldiers. Uh oh, it's a little bit of a harder fight than I thought. Okay, the retinue is is holding. There's five versus nine now. I kind of like just sending my professional soldiers. Uh, seems good. All right, so we defeated them, but we lost two guys. So we're gonna go dismantle that brigand camp now and that's gonna give us a lot of money and then we'll bring them back. The militia, you know, will take a lot. So the burgrave plot is almost done. That's gonna be our massive carrot. So we can go ahead and take the treasury. So we just got all that money. So let's bring these guys back to the base. And this plot is gonna be uh, done soon, I'm hoping. Generic storage full, but that's just the saw pit, which is fine. We got two guys in there making planks. We have 102 planks. I mean, that's pretty serious. We could probably just cut one of you guys down and have those families go help. We called the we called the week from the ranks, yeah. And I can buy more. I can just buy more retinue men. You can hire the professional soldiers. Although eventually you're gonna want your militia to be good because you can only have one retinue, so. All right, so that is a fat one. Let's go ahead and get this to be a carrot farm. We don't have the wealth right now, but let's expand the living space. Yeah, right? The firewood stall. And do we have the imported meat at this point? Let's see. We do not. Yeah, it's not importing as quickly as I would like. I guess we're going to have the wheat in a minute. Um, and then we need to have a place to turn the wheat into, uh, obviously, something we can work with. So, All right. Uh, it would be under industry. Workers use barley. Yeah, we have a malt house. And do we have a... There's a lot to juggle in this game, though. It's it's a lot. Like, 
taking the workers off the farms, you know, a lot of things. Abandoned camp was sighted, okay. So the fields, uh, obviously that's gonna give us wheat. So then we need to get flour. Workers use flour to produce bread. All right, so we need to find a place to get flour, right? Smithy, yeah, this is obviously malt house and then this. Tannery, weavers. Berries into dyes, that's kind of interesting. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. That's right. Oh, shit. Oh, no. My retinue is... We, we need to go and to stand your ground. They were attacked by more brigands. I don't know if they're going to win this one, boys. They're they're probably going to lose it. We might have to hire a new retinue. Although, they're fighting pretty hard. They're... they're. Yeah, they're broken. Yeah, we got broken by the barbarians. The retinue will return, and hopefully we'll, we'll figure that out. Yield would be 30. So, we probably are going to want to get that online here. So, we need to allocate our workers to do other things. We don't need the saw pit anymore. So, we have plenty of fuel, right? Uh, only four months worth of fuel, actually. Yeah, so we're going to need that. Planks and timber. Oh, no, that's for planks, yeah. Okay. So, what's like the timing to, to go for the farms? You know, like when do we when do we hit that hard? I mean, the crops are obviously growing, but it says I only have nine days left to harvest, right? So I guess I need to just go hard here and start harvesting. So let's do that, and um, we can take workers off our clay furnace and the clay operation here, and then we can go ahead and get them on this. So they're gonna now start harvesting, right? Waiting, do I need to do do I need to do force an early harvest? Ignore harvesting season and harvest immediately. Is that how that would work? Uh, I see it says nine day estimated resources produced, days left until the harvest. So the harvest is in nine days, right? The yield is gonna be 33. Or will they start harvesting in nine days? That's harvesting season, right? It's harvest moon, yeah, I guess so. So we got the deep mine giving us the passive goodies. Um, what do we have an obscene amount? We have a lot of firewood, so we shouldn't have any drama with that. Granary is fine, and uh, we wanted to get the storehouse upgraded, and we can get this upgraded too. This is gonna be a dreaded carrot field. Wait till harvest? Okay, so I need to wait until the harvest. Okay, got it, understood. Yeah, I'm just like, I was nervous that this was like a deadline before I needed to get the harvesting going. But I guess not. All right, team, keep it up. And eventually we'll be able to get our food diversity up. Importing of the meat hasn't been very good. Uh, I'm good, baby, thank you. No, I haven't. Thank you. All right, so food. Um, we were importing meat, but it seems to be kind of ineffective. So we're just gonna cut that off for now. Uh, you also need a windmill in the farming tab. Okay, so fence up. Oh, we need fertilization for that. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't see the windmill thing. <laughs> you you want to send all the uh, archers? Hey, the retinue's back. All right, let's uh, disband these guys. The shame on them. All right, so let's uh, disband these guys. They would have lost that fight. It makes sense that they broke. So let's disband the unit. We can take some of our wealth from taxing these filthy peasants, and now we can... Uh, we can customize the retinue and rebuild them, basically. Let's do this, and um, let's recruit some men at arms. All right, so the backup to six, and we can we can customize their equipment. Like we can upgrade their armor. Importing, like we could import some plate mail armor for the boys. They come with like basic chain mail, I think. But yeah, you have failed me for the last time. Windmill is a building. All right, let's take a look. So it's probably in farming. Converts grain into flour. Got it. All right. So we want that over here. This is our wheat farm down here. So we're going to set that up. Oh, so there's like an efficiency meter. Oh, so the more open it is, the better. Oh. So windmills, you want to have them in the old open there. All right. All righty then. 99% efficiency. So we're going to do that. And then we will get some roads to connect. So let's get the roads. Uh, where are they right here? Okay. Here, down to the old windmill connection. 
looks great. So they're gonna bring that back and then we can do the communal oven, which will, workers use flour to produce bread. So the windmill makes flour and this turns it into bread, okay. All right, that's cool. Yeah, easy, easy, GG, no re. All right, so I know I had a, uh, a malt, a barley place earlier, saw pit, malt house. Let's get one more guy on there. Well, I think just one's fine. Thanks for all the glorious dreams. One is enough. Yeah, I think one is enough. Eight days until harvest. All right, let's fast forward till we're ready. I'm just, e I just want to see this. I'm very eager for this. It's going to be really fun. Although what we should probably do is put our workforce to use before. This plot is being built very slowly, mind you. It's getting there. We got nine dudes building, so timber and planks is good. Meat, vegetables. The, the veggies go really quick. Uh, maybe we should upgrade some of our houses while we have access. No, we don't. Yeah, and the tavern is also not happy either. I think we're still importing malt, though. Uh, are we importing malts? Materials. Malts. Malt was being imported, wasn't it? Weren't we importing malts earlier? Could have sworn we were. Yeah, we can set up a trade route, too, to make it a little bit more efficient. So let's, like, import some malt, just, like, some... Because our tavern's offline right now, so. I can import wheat, but we're not going to need to, hopefully. All right, so policies available. Soldiers flee in the retinue. I know, I know. Are we getting attacked? I, I saw, some, like, a snap over there. It kind of snapped me to that, so it made me think we were maybe besieged. All right, new mercenary companies available. And um, as far as this goes, we could set up more houses up here. Family members joining, which is great. Uh, okay, so now it says to be harvest now? Or do we have to wait for the crops to grow? See, I was importing barley. Oh, I was just skipping the, the supply chain. Got it, okay. It's a lot to keep track of, it really is. This is like a different kind of mind than what I have. Yeah, we do have the barley being imported. Okay. So we're probably okay on the other stuff then. Yeah, I think we're fine. We can just we can just cancel this for now. Trade routes are dirt cheap anyways, so not a huge deal. Uh so here's what it says. Now do I need to get people back on the fields to harvest or do I need to wait for the crop growth? Like I feel like we screwed that up. Force harvest before it rains. Okay, so we're gonna pause this. We're gonna get you guys here, one, two, three, four. And we're gonna get four of you guys down here, one, two, three, four. I guess that's as good as it's gonna get, right? So this will yield 35. So force harvest, and then we force harvest here, right? On the field. All right, so they're gonna come and they're gonna start harvesting. Yeah, okay. Exposed stocks are stoked, I don't care. Oh, it's raining. Okay, they're harvesting, let's go. Panic minions panic All right Yeah, it looks good. I mean, I'm getting stuff. It's gonna be taken. Yeah, we got Ale we got herbs all sorts of goodies The berries are expunged so we can take you off now All right And yeah, I mean we're harvesting right now. Let's see what kind of a yield we get. We'll find out Do they go to the farmhouse? Is that how that works? The wheat field is being harvested. All right. It kept raining because the army didn't march. <laughs> All right. So I got 128 wealth just now from trade. This is being harvested. Uh, let's go to the field. Yeah, the progress is not great. Probably need to get some more here to help out. And we'll get a couple more on this field too. All right. Oh wait, hold up. Oh, we got some barley in there. Yeah, let's go. And some wheat. Okay, baby. I'm the farming overlord. Yes, the large granary is there. Spots could be upgraded. Everyone is doing their part. We're going to get a huge carrot. So that is going to be a carrot field, too. I think I'm understanding the carrot meta, too. Because, you know, you don't even necessarily need to farm if you just go carrots. Like, I think a really strong strategy would be big carrot fields with infinite meat from trapping, and then you uh, you go into the orchards. So that will satisfy your three foods. Apples, uh, apples, and then meat, and then carrots, and then eggs. So that's four. 
Then after harvest, leave them in a, a farmhouse uh, to thresh the wheat. Okay. Very cool. So they got 27 grain in here. Uh, we probably don't need that many. Let's see what they're doing. So they're, they're all going home right now. So we'll leave a couple of you guys in there. And we need to get uh, these buildings built. Yeah, we need to get those. Okay. So that's going to give us the bread. This marketplace is basically desolate. Basically desolate. Yeah, these are being distributed effectively, I think. Looks all right. I think all the houses have their needs met. Soon, Anakin, soon. The stream is just... its its This stream is propaganda paid for by a big carrot. You're right. You caught me. <laughs> I need to understand how the farm works better, though, for sure. So, yeah, that one is done. So, is there any reason to keep them in the farmhouse now? Yeah, grain. Okay, they're turning the wheat into grain. Okay. So they're threshing it. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. These guys are done, so I can send them elsewhere now, right? Maybe just keep one in? Do I need one to transport the materials, or are they just going to wait? Looks like he's transporting what's in there now. And we'll keep one in the farmhouse here. Yeah, so we got barley and grain there, too. All right, so next up we need to con con finish this. Looks like the cattle are coming down, the oxes to help plow these. We could hire a mercenary company too. I also can take over another region now. So which one would we want to take? Uh, clay deposit. Let's see if we can find a rich iron deposit so we can get infinite iron. Mm. It's really far away though. But you know what? Let's claim this with influence. So we're gonna press a claim towards this region. And now that will be ours and we can go set up a rich iron economy. And that's going to give us like plate and different things like that. All right. Carrots are alive, dude. We, yeah, we got, I mean, we got the carrot overlords here. Do we have anyone living here? We do. Great. And, um, yeah. So the farms are in fallow now. Okay. So they are fallow and these are fallow. That looks good. All right. I dig it. I think we're kind of doing okay. Woodcutter's Lodge, Logging Camp. We need to probably augment that. Forester's Hut, they're doing great. They're replanting trees. Looking for a planting spot. All right. Yeah, I'm doing really good. Having a lot of fun with this game. I think we're making some progress. We're learning today is certainly better than yesterday. We're learning a lot more of the advanced mechanics. Um, but now we need to get, yeah, we need to get cooking down here, quite literally. How's our wood eco? Yeah, 31. And the manor, uh, do I want to upgrade the church? We could probably get the tavern a little bit more geared out. Communal oven is ready. So it's a ways away, unfortunately. But let's get two families in there. And what are they going to do? They're going to be transporting the goods they need. And the windmill is going to get this as well. Okay, so the windmill, they're going to transport what they need. Oh my god, there's so many notifications. And we can have a uh, family live down here too. So let's see what the water situation looks like first before we decide to move some folks down here. Oh, it's not terrible. So we build that, set a little road to go over there so they have access to water in case of a fire. And then we can go and build some uh, plots. We can build like a big carrot plot too. So let's rotate. Yeah, like this. I think this is the way to do it, man. It just feels like it is. This is heavier than it looks. So they should be... Yeah, they're crafting. Okay, so they're making some goodies now. And the windmill is getting the flower. Okay. Let's go, baby. We're a fancy village now. Yeah, we got we got all sorts of stuff going down. We just need to get that tavern supplied. And uh, shouldn't we have the malt maker doing his thing? Is he not doing it? The malt house? Get two of you guys going and uh, brewery and brewery. I know we had two breweries going. They're waiting on supplies. Yeah, they're waiting on supplies. Oh, that's right. I need the building that turns. Uh, I'm missing one of the supply chains. I think for the uh, for the brew. So yeah, workers use barley to produce malts. Okay, so we are totally missing out on this. So we'll set that up right there. Because we didn't have. We wait. We have a malt house, right? Yeah, we already do. What the hell? So we have a malt house. So let me see what I, I got on supplies. I feel like I'm missing somewhere in the chain. 
Okay, so we're a little bit low on bread right now, but that should be picking up soon. We got eggs, we got berries, veggies will eventually be there. So we got 26 barley, right? And the brewery is going to be doing, oh, okay, now we can upgrade it, okay. Yes. Oh, we need clay tiles. All right, we gotta stop selling clay tiles for a second. <laughs> let's uh, let's calm down on that trade for now. All right, let's make sure we uh, we can get some clay tiles to get the houses upgraded to the next tier. Uh, deep mine is good, and let's get the clay furnace to do this. Minus one bread, I know. You can go for some backer next to the mill in the houses. All right, so we can expand the living space. Uh, how's our growth? Yeah, it looks like it's still going. Good. These guys are making some bread. Let's get some pleb up in here, dude. Bardzo dobsha. Bardzo smachne. Let's pull some Polish. Uh, approval's been pretty good, although let's like chill out on the taxation, man. It doesn't seem necessary. Yeah, let's just like barely do a land tax. Let's put it at like five and let's put you at five. Three percent? Yeah, two percent. Is that acceptable, minions? You know what? Screw it. We're just going to tithe you guys. The Jesus will come. All right. We're going to tithe them. All right. So the tiles are going to be used in a second. Uh, we got one house upgrading. And then we can get this upgraded to a level three house. This one level two. Nice. Nice, nice. So the malt house, they're making barley now, okay. So then the barley is gonna go to the breweries and make me beer. So that supply chain should be functional. Yeah, it looks fine. So we're following right now, just waiting. We don't need you here and we don't need you here anymore. They've already done their bit. Does tithes not take food? Tithing I think is money, I could be wrong. Uh, fuel is a little dodgy. We are approaching winter. This happens every time I turn up my industry. It gets, it gets really, really hectic like that. So we got like what appears to be a pretty good little operation here, the Woodcutter Lodge. Let's get three more of you guys. And they're gonna get working on that. Uh, we probably wanna buy more oxen if we can. Let's buy more oxen so we can have more. Some dude, thanks for becoming a member. I could have sworn you were already a member. Thank you, man. Tithe does not give you money. It gives you influence to occupy new regions. Oh, very cool. So now we we have, this region is ours now. So if we wanted to settle it, how that would work is we would go to administration and we would build a settler's camp, which is gonna cost 250. So we just need to, we need to actually tax people to, to save money to, uh, to do it. We're at 80%. So we can probably afford to tax people a little bit. Let's chill out on this. That's gonna put us, I think taxing 5% is fine. Also smashing bandits will give us money too. So let's go, oh, there's double bandit camps. Do we go summon the electors? I don't think so, not yet. Yeah, it auto canceled. Yeah. So this plot's gonna be fat. Uh, how many plots do we have at level three? I think we are upgrading a few now. And this one is upgrading. Um, these ones can be upgraded soon. Yeah, we just need to get the food diversity back. What does our food look like? Berry, bread, and vegetables. Which just hasn't been distributed to the house yet. Here we go. All right, so that is gonna upgrade us to, you see, now we have fancy houses. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, Kielbasa finished the firewood stall. We have several markets around. These villages are having their needs met because they're a little bit simplistic, but that's okay. We've got a granary out here with some flour, which will eventually be brought down uh, all the way over here. It's quite a journey, but they are working on that. But when I run out of wheat, I can just, where can I see that? Yeah, so I have no wheat left. So they're transporting, yeah. They're just gonna transport the last of the goods here. And the bread is going to be sent to a market here, so these people are transporting the goods. All right. Yeah, retinue is it retinue crumpin time? I, I want to send. I want to send a proper army, but that would really, really hamper my economy. So maybe we just gear out the retinue a little bit more. It is fifty to buy another man at arm. These are the knights. You can individually name them. Here. Some dude. Some dude just became a channel a channel member here. We'll give. 
You are some, the brave sir, some dude. Uh, how can I change his name? I should be able to, right? All right. Uh, yeah, it's not letting me. Oh, I can like customize these guys. Oh, can I make them fat? <laughs> okay. Yeah, the name, I'm not sure how I changed that. We'll, we'll get to it someday. I could upgrade his armor. I could make these guys more elite. Maybe we upgrade who we already have. All right, so yeah, let's upgrade these guys. Instead of like getting more, let's make them like super metal. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So we're buying imported armor. All right. So that retinue is going to be pretty strong now. <laughs> yeah. You know who you are. Tax to fully equip your retinue before fighting, yeah. That's pretty fun. We are taxing. November's coming around. Dude, this is like one of those games that's just always the, oh, one more, one more, you know, round kind of games. Man, we are not getting a lot of, uh, uh, that's Woodcutter's Lodge, and then the lumber camp is going, but I think, yeah, we got 23 timber right here. I guess we just need more to bring the goods back. So we got the large granary and a uh, large storehouse. Get a couple of you guys, so that distributes. We, we have a lot of goods being put here, and it's not being sent to market, so we need to make sure we're doing that. We got a marketplace here for these villages. And um, yeah, we need to get one more house upgraded, and that's about to happen, so we're gonna be further than we've ever been. Need to reassign area for wood? Did I have a manual target? I don't think I did. I think I, I had clear. You have any livestock? We do. All right, so we got a livestock permanently assigned to that. That's cool. Uh, and now that the clay operation is fully armed, uh, we got three months of fuel. How many clay tiles are we sitting on? Uh, 13 roof tiles. We've already met the requirement, so we can start selling them again. Clay furnace is on three, and the clay operation, the deep mine has 38 freaking clay there. Yeah, that's a lot. That is a hell of a lot. Have you seen anything from a game? I haven't seen that. 5% is nothing, but the, but the people love me. You want you want me to go bananas? Hold on. We could do 100% tax and see what that yields. Let's see what that looks like. <laughs> Bow your heads, peasants. Oh, okay. 39 is 50% land tax. Let's try that for a second. Oh no, that's so haggard. I'm not gonna get any more new families. Oh man. I can't do it. It's too evil. Uh, I can't do it. We're not gonna, we're just gonna do religious tides. <laughs> Have you seen anything? Uh, no, I haven't. You had something assigned to an area a while ago, did I? Yeah, probably. It's certainly hard to keep track of everyone, making sure they're staying effective. Uh, oh, so we did actually get a new marketplace down here. That's good. So these plots, uh, we got 24 timber coming in. So upgrading these houses is definitely a good idea because it will give me more wealth each month. So the more like non-haggard these are, the better. All right, great. So I'm pretty sure the logging camp is free willy. These guys are currently transporting it would appear. Yeah, they're free. I'm pretty sure it was the Forester's Hut that I had targeted. We can just have them, you know, kind of replenish this area perpetually. You realize that the tax is a percentage of the area's wealth. If you grow the wealth first, you only need to tax very low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been investing, though. I've been, like, upgrading and getting all my, you know, carrots and uh, things like that, which I think are worth. I don't know. We're, we're about to hit the next village here, though. When these finish, I just need to pull some guys off the, uh, off something. I think we can calm down on the clay tiles for now. All right, so let's get these built out. These houses, yeah, so the breweries are fully armed and operational. How is our supply? So we still have barley, but the, the beer, yeah, you can see how you almost get enough beer. Like, one harvest almost lasts you the full year. Once this cobbler shop, shop upgrades fully, then we're going to reach the next uh, village threshold. Okay. Settlement level increase. Kilbasa rises. All right. So that reduces all imports to 10. That's really cheap. Um, this lets us make armor so we can make plate, but we don't really have a good source of iron here. 
Beekeeping gives us honeys. Workers collect honey. Every region can sustain up to two apiaries. Doubles vary. Passive meat might be the way. Heavy plow, sheep breeding. So sheep grazing on pastures slowly multiply. Um, oh man, what do we do here? This one gives you passive bread, which is cool, but I think we we're able to kind of handle it. The carrot, I'm the carrot main, dude. Better deals is OP, is it? Oh, but the other stuff's so much more fun. Armor making. Yeah, our militia, we can just import armor though, right? That's kind of the silly thing. Like, why not? Yeah, we're gonna do better deals. We're gonna become a trade tyrant. Carrot meta OP. All right, so we got the big carrot fields. Uh, these will be ready to harvest eventually. So yeah, we're not in harvesting season yet, clearly. Houses are coming together. We got the level threes. The tavern is functional. We got ale for everybody. Eggs, bread, and um, we can start importing stuff on the cheap, right? Although I kind of want to build my wealth up and, and do a little taxation. A little razzle-dazzle here and there. Yeah, the cheaper trade. I mean, now I can... How does my militia look? We have archers. The retinue is a little beat up. But yeah, these guys are pretty stocked. They just don't have good armor. Um, so we could start importing armor for them if we want to. Let's see what the prices are. Yeah, it's so cheap now. You can see the prices are... Uh, are lower it looks like plate armor for the militia root required we want to export our tiles I think yeah the roof tiles are still good so we have what 19 surplus so let's go ahead and export these and we don't care about that so we need to be the tile overlord go clay furnace and how's the, the pit here yeah we have plenty here so it's more about the clay furnace like converting that quickly Although these guys actually transport the goods, right? Going for a drink, pedaling, waiting. Oh my god. And then over here at the clay furnace, the people are doing what? Transporting. Yeah, so they're transporting. So it's more important to have people here because they go grab it. Okay. Uh, is there anything I need to do down here? I think it's off-season right now, so no. We got families kind of chilling out. Uh, carrots for the carrot god. And uh, yeah, we don't need to use the communal oven. So we got a bunch of families that just got freed up. We must pacify the West, I know. We're gonna expand soon. We just need to get a little wealth. Um, yeah, so 17, we're gonna sell. Let's hard sell the clay tiles for the clay tile god. And clay furnace. Yeah, that one's looking pretty good. Yeah, we got the old uh, tiles coming on out. Let's get that one fully sauced. And the mine is keeping pace with even just two, but I guess we could get a third one just to try and do that. Shit, I didn't even look at my fuel, guys. That's kind of dodgy. All right, so how are we on wood? We got 19 timber. Can I, like, mass upgrade these? Yeah, they don't have a food supply stall out here. Let's go ahead and set up a, a road here so they can get to the market a little bit easier and get supplied more efficiently. Yeah, these are, these are the barbarians who live on the outskirts of town. All right, so now we got options. I mean, I could spend wealth to work on these. To get some like wood parts, beer, I could do some armaments, but I just feel like importing them is superior in almost every way. So probably I would like to upgrade those to goat farms and stuff, but I want to um, I want to continue powering through with my wealth and see what we can do. Um, big trade should come in soon. Yeah, we got 19 roof tiles ready to be traded there. And we got barley being imported, which do we even still need it with our, our harvest that we get? Um, yeah, we could cut off. We could stop importing barley. We've been importing it for a while. All right, so I'm here for the barley. Yeah, I think it was here somewhere. No, it's in crops, right? Yeah, let's uh, cut that off and try and... I want to accumulate wealth and do taxes so I can expand. The egg economy. <laughs> the egg economy, yeah. These are all these are all goats. These are these are little goat farms here. And then we got some chicken coops here. I have, I have a shit ton of chickens, like... It should be pretty fat. Um, do we have a marketplace for these villagers? Yeah, we have the large granary, which has some supplies in it. Uh, the granary, yeah, the flour is then going to be taken to what? The flour gets taken to the communal oven, right? Which I guess we can keep one guy there just to kind of keep plugging away on it. 
Bow making is broken. The dude works super fast. Oh, got it. How much does a die sell for? Dies are an interesting one, yeah. Uh, I didn't even think of that. Commodities, materials. Dies only sell for four. I think selling tiles is like really cost effective, but you obviously want to work with what you have. So 314 wealth. Okay, we're in January. It's almost harvesting season. Jesus, how long have I been streaming? I'm getting carried away here, guys. Oh my God, three hours. All right, another 30 minutes. Sell 100 eggs. How many eggs do I have? Okay, you know what? <laughs> yeah, why the hell not? We have a lot of eggs. So let's export. Let's get a trade route. I can be the egg the egg hustler here. And we'll sell until we have 100. All right, that's going to make us some wealth. Your market east is tiny. Yeah, it's it's just a supplementary one. This one here. I, I could have sworn I had one somewhere here on here. Yeah, it's all good. Deep mine's still going. Stone cutter. We don't really need stone for anything. So now we need to get to get a small town. Medium town. I need more level three plots. Okay, that's actually a pretty feasible goal. So you just need to make sure everybody. I think like having a really centralized uh, residential neighborhood is really good. And food. We got meat, vegetables, bread. Bread runs out really quickly, it would appear. Runs out really quickly. Is the is he still doing something? Yeah, he's crafting. Okay, so maybe we do need to keep another guy in the communal oven. Uh, no population growth. I ran out of houses. What an idiot. All right. I was wondering why I wasn't getting new stuff. You really got to be on top of that, man. You really got to be on top of that. Oh, what the hell did I just build? Oh, it's a granary. Okay. I thought that was a house. So we're just gonna get some like huge neighborhoods here. Can't build that, okay. So we need to find some open space. This is a nice little open plot, but that's my farms actually. And uh, can I build anything close to the main empire? Oh, uh, let's go ahead and rotate that. And we can increase it. Yep, let's get that. And then do this, rotate it. That should solve our population issues for a hot minute. Let's get you guys off the clay furnace. And uh, we can keep you guys in the mines. All right, great. So we're going to go build these houses up. That should solve it. Turn is lord of supply block. It is true after all. Yes. It is our honorary role. But yeah, we're getting there. We got some level three families. Uh, the tavern supply has run a little bit dry since... I think we ran out of barley. So upgrading, yeah, we need to keep the tavern flowing. We need to have better harvesting seasons on the barley. Yeah, we do. Our fields are currently fallow and I believe they're fallow here. Too busy being a kingpin, I forgot where he came from. <laughs> All right, let's like do 40% taxes. Uh, that's gonna put us into no growth or really little growth. What about 30%? Let's, let's be reasonable here, people. Okay, 24. We'll still grow, it's just gonna be slow. All right, so we're gonna tax and try and get enough for an expansion here. Houses are being built out, and uh, the lumber eco, I believe, is still functional. Let's go check. Where the hell did our lumber go? Is our lumber really all the way here? Oh, Jesus. Oh, dear God, that's bad. Oh, God. Okay, well, let's get you guys, and uh, let's get the Forester's Hut and the Woodcutter's Lodge. I was wondering, I was like, I feel like something's pretty inefficient here. Oh man, I had so many families on that too. All right, so we're gonna relocate you. And uh, it's good, we, we created a lot of space. So that is the wild animals. Are we even hunting them anymore? We've got a huge tree line over here. That's kind of far off the beaten path though. So is that, I suppose. This is closer to the town, so we're gonna go ahead and relocate here. And uh, let's relocate the lobbing, logging camp here. Exposed stocks are getting soaked. Yeah, it's all right. Fine. Relocate. Yes. And then there was one more. The forester's hut can stay here, and he can he can replant some trees, I guess. Although, yeah, you know what? I don't think so. Let's re relocate you. I'm gonna. I want to kind of use this space to make a residential neighborhood here. So we're gonna throw all you guys here, and these supplies will get picked up. Uh, Woodcutter's Lodge, we wanna relocate. I can see how you can like cut through all your trees though. Yeah, screw these natural habitats, dude. We're going in. We're going in, baby. 
Don't de-staff the forester. Yeah, well, it's fine. They're going to get these supplies for now. Yeah, they're going to go grab all the supplies out here. We're going to reset this up. Probably get a well out here just in case there's a fire so they can, you know, deal with that. We got the new plots being built. Uh, and do we summon our militia? Currently, taxation has not happened yet. It's going to happen soon. They're going to build these once they collect all those supplies. Do we have any more ox space? Yes, we do. Order some livestock. We're at 400 wealth. Family members joining. Good. So we are growing. Okay, taxation just kicked in. People are not happy. So we're going to go ahead and turn it off now. I think we have enough to expand. Aha! No, wait. 250? Oh, no. We don't have enough. Curses. All right. They're going to be pissed for one more cycle. We're still growing. It's just slow. Why such? I should have taxed them harder, honestly. That's what they get. All right. So, yeah. We need to get the lumber operations rebuilt. So we're going too soon. And, uh, yeah, this is good. This is like a lot of space where we can build houses and, and whatnot. So this could be a big residential center. Uh, yeah, so that's the uh, charcoal pit there. All right, so they finished the logging camp. Let's get three there. And we should have the forester here. We can have him plant, plant some trees and do all that stuff. But we do need space. So this is, oh, that's our farm. I was like, why can I not build there? All right, great. So now we can do more houses. Perfect. Uh, we need timber, okay. This one, I have that much timber though. Right? Construction cost is 12 and I have 22 timber? <laughs> Weird. Must be something obstructing it. This lower taxes to 10. Dude, you know they deserve more. 30, how about 100% tax? <laughs> Are they gonna start like torching my shit? Yeah, 10 is honestly all, is fine, all jokes aside. Make the retinue fat. I could do an erect retinue and go stomp some bandits. I want to take the archer militia, though. I wanted to try them out. I like. I was really expecting to get attacked heavily in this, this mode, but I might have screwed something up in the settings. But at the very least, you guys are going to get to see the basics of the game. Um, all right, so the supplies are being picked up. You got this big plot here. Uh, we can upgrade some of these. Yeah, the food stall we need. Okay, that's to go to the next level. Joiner shop is disabled. How are we looking here? We got level two plots. Requirements not met. What are we missing? Yeah, food diversity. Classic. Classic, classic. All right, trade. You want to import some food? We're still exporting the hell out of these tiles. That's making us a lot of wealth. We're at 500 right now, so... All right, let's get this, and uh, you guys can just go replant the trees. So they'll work nearby, hopefully. We got that, and let's get three on here. And fuel is looking all right. Food is gonna last five months. 99.5% tax. Yeah, the bandits are gonna make us more money, I suppose. So we might as well just go smash the bandits. You, you raise a great point. So let's get our retinue like pimped out and go smash those two bandit camps. We can take our archers too. Just for the fun of it. Although we're about to start working the fields. Ugh. All right. So I think the retinue is okay. Let's let's try our archers out since we're towards the end of the stream anyways. And let's rally the retinue too. Summon the archers. The bandits must pay. So we're only, we're gonna leave the spearmen. We're gonna go ahead and walk you guys and we're gonna walk you over here. It's, they're pretty close by actually. All right, so they're gonna walk and then we're gonna go do that fight in a minute. All right, uh, is it time to start on the fields? That plot's looking good. These guys got water access and then, uh, do we have a market over here? I could have sworn I built one, yeah, we do. Free stall locations. The large granary is partially stocked, but not so much so. Now the carrots are gonna start growing. So is it time? Is it time to start harvesting? Pretty close. All right, let's see what they're going to do. Plowing by hand. All right, great. So let's get these bad boys plowing. And uh, let's get you guys plowing as well. And we're going to go ahead and put you on wheat. I know I could follow it again, but I think I'm going to try this. Yeah, the retinue's all right. I think with the archers in tow, we're going to be fine. 
There's a whole bunch of them. The Ungabunga is going to see me coming, and they're going to come out. Okay, let's go experiment with the archers now. These guys, these, these retinue do have, like, heavy armor. Alright, so the Ungabunga is going to rush out to meet me soon. I don't know where they are. Probably in the tree somewhere. We'll, we'll be ready for them when the time comes. We got our new forest, forestry operation. Uh, berries? We do have some berries. Okay, so we can actually go here and get some berries. So let's just get one guy on berries at least. One family. So where is the Ungabunga? Yeah, the farms, I guess we're starting on them, I guess? Yeah, right now we're plowing the fields. And these ones are going to get plowed too, so I guess we're doing it right. It's, it's harvesting time when you hear the angelic choir. Look, isn't this cool? My archers. I got quite a retinue. And let's look at my troopers. Yeah, see, they, they got some good armor now. Are the bandits not going to defend their shit? Let's go send you, and the archers can sit back. So we've taken the bandit camp down, which is going to be... belongs to my treasury. Okay, so now we can straight up resettle. So we're going to do an expansion. I wanted to get to this point before... And we can do the administration, Settler's Camp. We're going to do the Settler's Camp right up here. Oh, careful, you're about to run out of timber and block yourself. Oh, so every region's different. When I click on the regions, you see the resources for said region? Yeah, all right. It says I'm about to run out of timber, what? Okay, that's weird. Okay, there's some Ungabunga over there. I see them. Okay, so we see them coming. If we can get them in open field, that's going to be prime time. So let's get our retinue guarding our archers. Um, unfortunately, our eco is going to suck a little bit because our archers are out in a boot. But um, we wanted to test them out, so we're going to see how this goes. Okay, the Unga is coming for us. We want them out of the trees. Our effectiveness is open field. Terrain matters a lot in this game. All right. Oh, dude, I'm hyped for this. Let's see if we can obliterate them before they, um... Okay, here we are. Fire! All right, so we fire the arrows. The barbarians ate the first shot like champs. Oh, can we torch them before they get close? Come on, archers. Unleash hell! Oh, yeah, one more volley. Come on. Flank them. Oh, they're broken! Yes! All right, so you guys go back to the village now. We only need to go back to the border and then we can disband them and then this guy can go take care of the camp. I'm pretty sure that was the Ungabunga from that camp. So they're running right now, which is fine because we know we just killed the garrison, so. All right, great. So now you guys come back. Poor brigands have almost no armor. Yeah, that's true. And disband the units. They need to go back and work the fields because those are the husbands and the men, you know, so they, they need to go back and do it or else they, uh, they uh, you know, won't be great. Settler camp. So modest farming village. Oh. So you can you can have you have different you have different options, but it looks like in the early access you only have one. Okay, so confirm. Do you have any villagers here? Is there anyone like settling? Ah! So you're basically starting a whole nother region. Wowza. Okay. So, do we have any... They start with some supplies. A humble amount of supplies. Let's order another ox for them. We have the villagers hanging out. So, this region, you can see, has a completely separate uh, situation. And you can trade and, like, ex bring resources between your two regions. Okay. I wanted to see how that works. So, we'll save that one. If we do stream it again, uh, we can continue this one. Uh, I'll examine the different difficulty options... You know, because I, I do want it to be harder. This was way too easy. It was a, kind of a joke, honestly, in terms of difficulty. Um, so I think we just have to go to the hardest difficulty and have there be an enemy ruler attacking us. Because right now, you know, we're not being attacked by an enemy ruler. This scenario was supposed to be, like, survive the raiders. Um, but they're just kind of a joke, so. And once we get large town, I'm pretty sure we win. So we're not that far off winning, honestly. Um, I might just finish this in my own time to see if it gets harder. Because we're pretty close to winning. We just need to get a, a large town. So we get a medium town. We need seven more level three plots. And then we, um, yeah, we just advance from there. 
GG guys, hopefully this was more helpful than yesterday. Yesterday's was absolute chaos, but this was a lot of fun. Uh, I appreciate you guys. If you want more Manor Lords, let me know. Drop a like on the way out and uh, just give me feedback in the comments. Uh, but yeah, it was easy, but we're learning together, you know, uh, but I would rather more exciting fights. Uh, it'd be really fun to kind of explore. Let's go look at the options, right? So let's quit game. Oh, hold on. I need to fire it back up. That like full on quit the game there. It's fun though. I like how you have to react to the different seasons. Um, I would like to try an early farming build. I think that could be kind of fun, like some small farms early on. But having a big chonky farm is pretty good. And there's only a couple like perks in the in the game so far, so I think there's. Yeah. All right, we're back. Uh, yes. Out of the way, please. Okay. So we we did this one. I think I need to do challenging. So raiders. Probably yes, less than a year between each raid. We need that. Raid, raid or free years, uh, we need like one tops. Random bandit camp spawn limits five. We need frequent raider raids. Cause this scenario is you versus the raiders, I think. And we need what we needed to do, which I think we screwed up is, I think we reset the settings before the game started, which sucks. You want an off map adversary and you want them to be aggressive. And, um, yeah, and then you just do victory can be growth. Yeah, we needed this setting. I did. I think I me messed it up in the beginning, but it's okay. So next time we'll try something like this, or we could do, you know, restoring the peace. Um, which I think this is the one that you have other AI opponents. Okay, we'll figure it out. All right, guys. See you around. Hopefully you guys learned something. I had a good time hanging out with all of you. That was, that was a blast. And uh, yeah, we're going to see you around. Take care of yourselves. Cheers. Well played. Thanks for all the knowledge and insight. For those of you who've been watching more, it really helps a lot. And uh, adios. Dovitania. Dobranoc.